but I wanted to read off my social security number. Damn it. <laughs> All right. I think we're, I think we're live now. Yeah, we're good. All right. So um, just to kind of show you all, do you all see my screen okay or no? Not yet. You haven't me go broadcast yet. Yeah. 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 Screens. There's my whole screen. Ken, do you speak Japanese? Yes. Um, I, I can do English. Okay. <laughs> how, how do you pronounce the names of all the ships? Uh, which one? The different ship classes. Uh, like, like what? Haruna and Yuki? Mm -hmm. Such names? Yeah, well, effortless. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. We're good. We're, yeah. It sounds much better. <laughs> effortless. All right, so, um, yeah, like, so yeah. at least let me just um, let's let's kind of go back over this scenario just very very quickly. Um, so you're in the search of the, uh, the Japanese submarine. I will get the name of it correctly here. Azushio. 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 Yes. Azushio. And um, which I think. By the scenario description recently was damaged correct let's go over this it ran a uh, ran into an uncharted submerged rock and limped uh, away severely the japanese msdf are sorting or they're aware that they're sorting. Le legitimate recon mike mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so um <laughs> So you don't know everything about this, all right? We're not gonna we're not gonna go too deeply into what's exactly specifically happening to it. But the, your goal, I believe, is to the victory condition is to be anywhere within three nautical mile mile. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Can't remember how close you needed to be for the victory condition. Maybe it's under the Japanese. Very victory. close. Yes. They have to. Oh, here it is, right? The rendezvous. Enough, enough, so you can wave the guys over. Yeah, yeah. I think it was and what, they visual, it. visual distance for three tactical. I can't remember where they put that though. Maybe it's down here on twenty-four. Give me one second. I don't like that they split this up, but such is life. Oh yeah, right. holding Here. a parallel station Here. of a speed of five knots or less for three tactical turns. Parallel course at speed of five knots or less. I'm assuming within visual, right? It doesn't really say that, but yeah, it doesn't really say how close you have to be. But I would think you'd have to be within visual. All right. Um, so that's the gist. Anybody have any questions about the goal for either side? No. All right. Oh. I'm going to keep this on the ship because that's probably really? where I will need it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just reveal everything at least. All right, so these these neutrals, if you will, have moved. All right, we're gonna we're gonna be kind of switching our view between the sides as we as we move through this. Okay, um, this isn't going to be a full traditional double blind. Uh, I wish we could do that, but we just don't have the 10 to 12 hours that it probably would take. <laughs> um, so I will call out a few things. No. <laughs> yeah. Some of us might not. All right. Um, so I will call out that there are shallows here, and these are basically the con these are basically to be considered islands that have no height would be the way to describe these. So any let's go a little bit closer here. So this this white area or very close to white area, you don't want to hit that, okay? And then you probably want to even avoid this just for unknown rock considerations as well <laughs> right all right so as long as you as long as you stay outside of this this white area I'm, I'm okay all right um another thing that we called out <clears throat> during our kind of some preemptive discussions about this scenario is that these islands are pretty um they have a pretty substantial altitude to them right so um it's for surface radar sake uh this blocks line of sight okay so what we would do is uh, as we judge this uh these russian ships will not see well, just about any of these maybe they're obviously outside of range at this point too Let's see that they're at least 37 miles out of there but um 
So basically, it's going to be line of sight surface searching as well. So if if these ships happen to be behind an island, you're not going to see them. Now, what we did judge is that if an air unit gets beyond the lip of these uh, this island in particular, or even that ridge line there, if the helo can get beyond that ridge line, then it has f fair game, right? Um, mm -hmm. We will see here shortly that most of the helos are not very high, but what what was our judgment as far as helos seeing um like from 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 where they're at they're not going to see beyond that right let's just let's just stick with that all right no. yeah we'll stick with that all right so first things first i'm going to go ahead and um what we can do is i'm going to reveal it all right i'm going to reveal the waypoints and then we're going to go through by tactical turns, okay. At which time we, at which time we will judge, we will co-judge uh, who sees whom, right? Um, so this is a little bit different than you might be traditionally have played this game, but but we've we found that this works very well, and, and people are very fair in, in how we kind of co-judge this. I'll, I'll be the ultimate arbitrator, but I do kind of I kind of want to I want to get out of the way a little bit more during this one. Right, I kind of, I, I don't want to be too judgmental during this. So I, I would like, especially any any new players, which, uh, who, who here is is absolutely brand new at Harpoon? Anybody? Uh, I'm brand new. Okay, and that was, I'm sorry, who was speaking? Was that Gron? Uh, Gron, yeah. Yeah, okay, so you're brand new. So I kind of want to give you a reasonable voice, right? I want you to be able to kind of, make some judgments and then and then allow your team to kind of help correct you you know you know what i, you know what I mean so so we're going to try to we're going to try to use like a talking stick if you will here a little bit and try to give everybody a good a good voice on each team so that that's my main role here will be to facilitate uh, both teams discussing this battle okay quick question Brandon, to mike no pressure. Mm -hmm. Ma mike uh, or, or to peter did mike uh, state that our <laughs> did I'm, we did we even talk about the ra Ooh. what radars will be? Yeah, lit I don't up? think we did okay, that now, either. Hold on. So hold on. <laughs> well, neither okay. side did that, honestly. So uh, it, it's okay. <laughs> no, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, I watched both people plan, right? I watched both teams plan, and so I know what you originally were thinking. So as long as you don't light up more than one, <laughs> I think both sides were gonna light up one ship, but. Go ahead and make that decision and tell me now because we need we'll to go. We certainly will will light up our helo. Okay. Okay. But so, I don't know if we decided finally on lighting up any ships or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to have to decide that later then, right? I mean, we need to Yeah, I know, before we move and before you reveal the waypoints especially. Okay, why don't we'll we? We'll light do up that? our helo, won't we, lads? I think it's got a light in the cockpit, hasn't it? Cuz that's, that's all it's got. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they don't have... Okay, just remind me. Let's go look at that. No, they have nothing. They have, they have nothing. a Mark One eyeball. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And maybe, maybe very powerful flashlight. Not, not very, not, yes, not very much. Not, not the king of the sea they are. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right, so let's kind of slow down just a little bit. All right. So I can catch my breath. Um, so I think everything's pre-plotted. I did double check with both teams that it's plotted accordingly. All right. So now I'm going to reveal everything, and now we have fun. Now we have fun trying to figure out what happens, right? Okay. So here's the thing. So so if we determine a new detection occurs, what what I'm thinking of doing is just having that team go talk for a very short bit of time. Um, I'd like to keep it to five minutes max. Okay. And I know that's pretty aggressive. But let's try to keep it at a five-minute max conversation. If I feel like there's, you know, traction to the conversation and that it will wrap up relatively quickly, I might let it go beyond that, right? So I'm gonna, I'll try to be as equal in that judging as possible. All right. So let's reveal the waypoints. All right. I do wish we could change the waypoints per team, the color per team, but. Um, what we'll, we'll yeah. do is we'll we'll flip this back and forth. So let's take a look at well, there's, this. There's no. There's... Go ahead, Tom. There's no, there's no such option as changing the yeah. waypoints. 
No, not the, well. This is this allows you to change it overall, but but it doesn't allow you to change. Oh, ah, okay. But every I, I everyone, might, but not I might the, add, I but might you ask. cannot group them. Okay. Yeah, but watch this. But we can now. What we'll want to do is we'll want to look at this from each side. So let's yeah, let's talk okay. about let's talk about the situation then from from the from the Japanese side. Um, we got two destroyers here. You don't know exactly the class, right? But they of course do. Um, they're making a beeline here. They're going 32 knots. Uh, you don't know that speed. You don't know they're there. You can't. I. You know. I'm not. We're not going to allow deviation from the waypoints until you know they're there. Okay. Um, so here we have uh, the Sharyuki destroyer as well as the Asugumo and a Hilo that is taking off. Sea King, Haruna, Haruna class, as well as the. Akigomo, which is a Yamagumo class, as well as uh, uh, another Sea King taken off here. All right, so here's another thing about uh, helos, right? Both sides were able to launch their helos immediately, right? The way we're going to judge any other, f any further launches is 20 minute increments. Does anybody disagree with that readiness plan? That you can launch another helo in 20 minutes? Any disagreement on that? I think it should be okay. I think I it's a reasonable. It's a reasonable assumption that yeah. they're planning and fueling, and it's a. I, it's it's the assumption that they're refueling and rearming at the same time, if if necessary, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But they should be ready. Uh, I don't know what's the time to. Oh, they they have to physically get. Time. They have to physically get it from the hangar to the. Yeah. The deck and and I've never prepare really the plates, uh, yes. uh, start the engines, warm the engines, and yes. they go. The assumption is that the pilots, the pilot and co-pilot or engineer, whoever, or um, technical engineer, ASW officer, are are ready, right? They're 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 they're, they're uh, getting ready while it's being prepped, you know. So the alert, it's it's what what size of the aircraft it is? It's I very think small. They or, are, or small. We can go look at that real quick. What's what's the size to see what the rules say about it? They are both. Small. Ooh, the Sea King's large. Ooh, Sea King's. Uh, okay, <laughs> this. So Maybe. this will be something that will need to probably be. It's large for a helicopter. It's very large. Um, and I'm surprised yeah, because that it's, they it's carry three of them. Three. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, they have, a, a, they have a center line lift. Wow. Um, it's an amazing ship, the Haruna. So yeah, the, I was the, the hang surprised. Yeah. I, I was also also surprised by it that they have wow. okay. three of them. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, yeah. live and learn. All right. So the hangar yeah, is big enough to have two on deck, um, in the hangar, and then the third is kept in the bowels, as it were. Okay. Uh, so now we, the point we need to raise with Larry, because uh, craft these are aircraft ready times. I believe they. For this purpose, they uh, treat the same as helicopter, and large craft takes one to alert, which is okay for B-52, but <laughs> okay. they probably should make another entry yeah, for maybe, helicopter. Uh, yeah, exactly. They, like they should make sort of just the entry yeah. for helicopter okay. as a whole. All right, so does anybody so, yeah, have any... Does anybody on blue have any overly corrective call outs i think we went i think we did pretty good about waypointing uh, anything anything blue wants to adjust based on previous uh, um, plans or anything like that no no we're getting to, we've got two helos up yep you're um, good and we'll then 20 start minutes. preparing the third yep. yeah mm -hmm. and then yeah all right so let's we're going to switch to the soviet perception okay so this is interesting all right so we basically have mm, about roughly I guess you would call these two, three task groups. Um, so this task group here is composite of the Grom, the Adreni, and the Dmitry Pozarsky. Hopefully I pronounced that roughly horribly. Um, and this group is heading here. So this should get interesting pretty quickly. And we'll look at it here holistically in a moment. These guys are going about 30. Yeah, all these are going 30. Um, they do have a Helix A up. Now, how many he, how many of those does that? 
cruiser support. Let's go look at that very quickly. That's the one. Mm, interesting. That could get interesting. Okay. Especially if you lose it. All right, so that's the Petropavlovsk, the Grad, and the Aporny. Um, fun times on the Aporny. All right, so um, this is... Uh, what type of destroyer is that? Is that an... Class is that? Does anybody have that on top of their head? That Aporny is. No, 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 no. Which class is it? Is it the Kara class? Or is that the. Obviously, the, two, the Grad and the Grom. Those, those are the pocket ones, of course. The, the, the one that's not listed in the sheet. Mm. Ah, so it is the Conan class yeah. then? Yep, yeah, Project 57A. And what is the size of that? That is a cruiser, is it not? Hold on a second, where, I'm sorry, I'm going all over the place here. No, it is a destroyer. So that is the Conan class. So let me go ahead and put that class on there so I don't keep asking that question. Okay. All right, so we're going to go, um, what I suggest is how close, I feel like we can go at least a few tactical turns without being in detection range. Well, let's, let's just let's see how far. Let's just do it one at a time. Helicopter will go. We're going to go real, we're going to go real slow. The first few will speed up as we move along. All right, so again, I'm going to go ahead and just turn everybody on. So we kind of see this as we go. I'm going to go ahead and save the scenario again with waypoints just based on what I just changed on that name. And then every few tacticals, I will save it just to be sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, please remind me to do that just in case because this is a beta, um, a pre alpha of the, uh, or pre release of the simplot. All right. So as you see over here, I don't know if I explained this last time, but the, you can actually you can actually do a semi real time progression, um, which is actually kind of interesting. But I'm not going to use it here. Uh, we'll we'll do that progression style replay once we get through like as to a certain point we want to try it out. All right, so we're going to use the instant mode. We're going to go by three minute tactical turns. So this could get interesting pretty quickly. What for the helos, right? Is really what we're looking for, right? So yeah. let's let's keep going. All right, we're going to go. All right, so we went, and what's interesting is the, the waypoints. Do you want me to keep the waypoints on? I might just turn them off for now. It would be a little easier to, to look, to see. Turn it off. Everybody see everything good? All right. <clears throat> so what you do is you do that, you do next, and that progresses the time to 6.03. I don't think, let's do some bearing checks. Obviously, these guys are too far away, or are they? Let's just think about that before we get too far ahead, right? Ooh, I didn't put their altitude on there. I thought I did. Um, I think we said 500. Correct me if I'm wrong, Red. I think that's what we agreed to. No, a thousand because the islands are 800. I, yeah, I do remember you saying that. So I'm going to save real quick, and I'm going to call it 603. just because of that correction. All right. Okay, so whenever you feel, whenever anybody feels like there would be a new detection, yell at me, okay? Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to just kind of progress. I'm going to pay more attention to saving things appropriately and let you co-judge. Oh, small, right? Yeah, exactly. Very small. So let's, yeah, so think, let's, let's think about what might happen. So what size are all these? These guys are V-small, but the... These sub... guys are very small, from what I remember, if they are fishing okay, boats. The, 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 the fishing about. boats are very small, uh, I believe so. And the submarine huh? is at... Is submarine surfaced. is actually... Submarine is actually stealthy, because it's if you need the a special yeah. rule, uh, there is a special uh, scenario rule that okay. the submarine is stealthy target. All right, so let's take yeah. a look at that real quick. And we're at 50% visibility, aren't we, at the moment? Yes. Correct, and keep me honest on all that as well. All right, so let's look at that. So everybody, I think all the healers are 
pretty much low. Um, and you're saying, is that the equivalent of Periscope? Why am I not? Selfie is, but the, the radar core, I believe, the same as for very small, I guess. Mm. That doesn't sound right, does it? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, why do we not have Stealthy on here? No, the, 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 there's no, there's no stealthy. Yep. Cause the, I, stealthy I don't know either, but it'll oh, be you're it, 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 it'll be to like very small. Yes. Okay. So we're we're judging it that it would be all the helos I think right now are low because because so basically st miles. stealthy stealthy is very small with additional coating. So we're definitely within the radar horizon. Now we also called out that what the sea sprites have no surface. Radar, correct? Sea Kings. Yeah, they have Sea Kings, that. excuse me. Um, yeah. The Helix has what? Helix has Oshminug. From what I remember, it's around 50 nautical miles. For small, it's 51. For V small, it's 29. For stealthy, it's 16. Let's go ahead and do that then. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and put that on there. And you know what? Now, now I remember there is no entry for stealth. Basically, very small target that has additional techniques added to them. It's it's not that they are smaller than very small. That they, they are very the small range? target that has what additional. Is... For what small, is... it's fifty one. Okay. And then for very small, it's twenty nine. And then for stealthy, it's sixteen. I'm sorry, this was small, wasn't it? Is that right? And then this was... Yep, small. that's correct. And then this was... Stealth. Okay. Is that correct? Everything good on that? Let's go ahead and... So technically, what? So this gets interesting here, right? Because yeah, pretty right much right. almost right away they can see potential. They don't. They can see this one, I think. No, I don't. No, so it's it, that it's, small. It is small. The, well, the no, fishing boats okay, are very no, small. On. So yeah. here's the here's the thing. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reveal which one is the submarine. Okay. <laughs> unfortunately, yeah, but... unfortunately, I have to though, right? Okay. Right. So, okay. Exactly. That was that was the problem with me uh, when I read this scenario that you can easily find the sub by seeing if if the difference between stealthy and okay. very small so just, target is okay, enough. So I'm going to reveal that this is the sub eighty sixty seven. So let's put a name on here and let's put the name of the. Is it the same class? I don't know. Okay. All right. So this is the only one that's small, and everything else is very small, right? So this is our. Wait, wouldn't the wouldn't the sub be very small as well? It's, no, it's stealthy. That sub stealthy. They're... Okay, so this is what's confusing yes. me. Okay. No, no, but, 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 but what I mean is, since since the since the submarine only has like you know like it's basically periscope death barely. Doesn't that count as a very small target for the purposes of detection? No, there is. Uh, no, look, look up, look up scenario, scenario rules that it is a stealthy target because the crew made some preparation. Yeah, they... yeah, yeah, yeah I know, but like my, but uh, are we talking about like radar line of sight, yeah, or right are we here. talking about? Um, yeah, but is that for? Yeah, but that that's the signature in terms of detection, but. Right. What about it? What what about the line of sight? Can can you actually the see visual, it with the radar? Yes, yeah. you oh, with the radar, you can see it with the radar like very small target in terms of line of sight. If the radar is on, yeah, but visually no, visually you wouldn't. But in but terms Javier, of... to answer your question, the radar line of sight is fifty nautical miles at this. 
Right. How much, right? 50. 50? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 from the Hilo, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, from the Hilo it's not a big problem. So this is to But uh, but uh, again, we don't need we, we I already checked. We don't need to be concerned with the with ship's radar line of sight because surface duct eliminates it. So this surface is... duct also gives us, I believe, well there is no surface mild. duct mentioned. There is surface duct mentioned at the very beginning. Where? There is an uh, ev environment left. There is an evaporating yeah, right, duct right. present. Hive is small, small, and I already checked that each and every ship has uh, right, but radar horizon of 50 nautical miles for every ship size. So we don't need with the ships. Okay, but none uh, of the ships are active right now, right? No, okay. not not our. All right. So the the plan on the red though is that the the helix will identify and then potentially well it will relay as much information back and then the the russian ships will not go active until they're within an appropriate range that they want to fire basically right yeah, um, yeah do any of the japanese ships uh, detect the radar with the es they potentially that's would. a good question, a very good question. so okay, they're so, at, so, so, so 1000 are are they very are they very small? The, the Do ships? these sea kings? No, the Japanese ships. Japanese ships are small. Do the sea kings okay, so have any? All of ES them. Detections? Okay. So then, if that's low to small, that's sixty plus uh, like twenty or thirty percent extra. So uh, depending on the ES measures. Okay. So let's look at what has ES. So Do the sea either, either, kings have either ES? Seven, no, no, yeah, we, we probably they, shouldn't they, they, they fire the radar <laughs> the start after takeoff. But okay. Hey, let's uh, well, Peter, let's go to your talking stick thing. So neither we can speak next. <clears throat> we want to hear from everybody else. Go ahead. There's go just ahead. next time there's a question or anything, anyone else but us three should be able to speak. Yeah. Right. Hmm? Okay. All right, so um, I'm gonna just ask this very plainly. Uh, anybody on the blue can answer this. Is do the sea do the sea kings have ES? Let's just triple check. No. I think it's no, but let's just triple check. No, the answer the answer is no. Okay, let's just have this sheet here anyway. All right, so does it have anything else? It just has a tipping sound. Oh wow. Okay. So <coughs> interesting. Okay, so ES on these. On the Amatsukazi, let's go check that. Okay, uh, second generation. I'm assuming most of these are second generation. Let me just go ahead. The only one that doesn't is first generation on the Takatsuki. I think I have this listed all here. Yes, I do. Second gen, second gen, second gen. So the only first gen ones are the Takatsuki class and the Yamagumo class. Oh, Haruna's got first gen. Yeah, okay. So that's just a matter of what multipliers we use against the ES detection. All right, so then these are all smalls, right? Smalls looking for small, correct? Or V small, any either of these, so they're not within range, right? Nineteen or sixteen. Uh, as far as we're as far as we're looking at the helicopter. Well, they don't have anything. We're we're moving on to the ships just to be sure that they don't have ES. Um, yeah, but can ships spot our helicopter with the ES? Right. So that I'm sorry, yeah, I did that wrong. So there. So that would be they are small going against low sixty nautical miles. Correct. Radar horizon to a low target, right? 60. And I think they're well beyond that. Yeah, they're a little bit beyond that, you see? So once this helicopter is within about 60 nautical miles is when is when the ES... Did, well, hold on, let's think um, about that, though. you gotta, it, you got to multiply it, it by 1.2. It's, it's, it's more... Yeah. 1.1 and 1.2. If it's Gen two, it'll be seventy two. If it's Gen one, it'll be sixty six. Okay, so it's 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 probably one more one more tactical, and then we'll start picking it up. Okay. I think that's.
it's safe to move on one more and then they will detect it unless you want to I mean you turned it on uh, unless you had told me you were going to turn it on and turn it off I'm going to assume you're keeping it on right from a judgment perspective yeah I, okay. I won't argue that <laughs> okay so we just moved another one and what does that change do these guys obviously do not have any visual yet what would what would be the rough range when these will have visual on any of these? I need to make sure uh, these guys don't run into it. Peter? Yes? I uh, can be think for that in, in the uh, on the Google Docs folder. It will find all it's but, still 50 percent uh, visibility isn't it? So it's under under 8 nautical miles visible visibility I think here you have oh what the hell this is your is it temp oh yeah here these are all yeah. basic visibility ranges you have here okay yeah. perfect thank you no all problem right. we will remind me to refer back to this i'll actually keep this open all right <clears throat> all right but but what about the helos they're at there were a helo there that was the the last there. line you have ah, kilo at the bottom. All right, perfect. All right. So we're still outside of that. Okay. Now we are detecting. I'm going to go ahead and just demark it here. We are detecting. I think the beam width is. I think the beam width is 20 degrees. Is it not? It's by default from the blue units usually 20 degrees. So then, if we turn that on, you're getting Osmonog there. Okay. Let me turn off these sensors real quick. Okay. So from the blue pers oop, what the heck? from the blue perspective, this is what you see. You are you are depicting Osmonog in this direction. It's safe to assume that that is a hostile because that is a Soviet radar system. Well, you, unless it's unless it's Chinese or something that is also using it, probably not at this time period right? necessarily. <clears throat> okay, so that's the blue perspective at that point. This is the red perspective you have not picked up anything we've judged at that as such take another look at that real quick would they be picking up anything here let's put the sensors back on let's take this off let's look at it from red at that point would they be seeing that at all that's versus small this is v small so they're not quite there right this is the horizon for that. Is it? Yep, it's nothing this, picked this, up. This would be a line of sight issue. Here too. Okay. So now we're up to about 606. So it's a couple, a couple sequences in. Let's keep going. We're gonna go one more. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Yeah. We're at 609. Nine minutes into the match. I think we're at the point where let's take a look at some ranges here. These helos are outside of visual, right? Like we had the extreme was 15 in 100% visibility. Are we up to the time point when we would be at 100% visibility? No, that's seven o'clock. Okay, yeah, perfect. So we're still at 50%. Okay, let's go look at his Tom sheet here. Yeah. So it's still. I didn't mark the time. This is in nautical miles <coughs> distance, and right. this is the best distance you can spot because we still uh, would need to. This is the point yeah. at which we we should go look at the rules and compute it, right? Yes, okay. All right. exactly. All right. Yeah. All right. So I don't think there's any new detections. Let's. Yeah, the think helixes about this. seized three of those boats, or two of them Probably at least. Probably this one. 
this is a v small. This one and this one, correct? Yep. Correct. So that's what you're seeing right now. Okay. I need to correct the course of this one. Otherwise, it's going to run into that island. As well as this one. He's stopping the fish. Six oh nine still correct, yes. Okay. I'm gonna move forward. Or well, any, shouldn't we adjust any, the helix? Yeah, I mean what do you wanna do? If you want Dan, to, you if you wanna go talk Dan, about it in your room for a second you can and then come back and tell me. Or it doesn't really sure. matter. I guess I guess you can just openly talk. There's no real reason okay. you can't. Dan, hold. you pick what we would do, if anything. Do we wanna deviate from the course or continue on? Yeah, so I, I wasn't here when we sent that kind of that jaunt out with the helix. Like, what was the? Um, we just did. We just want a different variant of approach, or was there like a conditional you had in mind with that? It was just looking for. So it has no weapons on it, so it's just searching with its radar for contacts. Okay. I mean, I, I think with the the idea behind the mission, I think we would go investigate that. I think you know we would find two contacts and go investigate. I, I would too. Modify the bearing to 180 to close on. The All right, so basically change well, that first waypoint to about like to. Well, well, here. Dan, would we go after the right one or the left one? Because we only see two of them. And right now, you would not know that this, yeah. these are here. No. I, we would just pull it the middle, just to be fair. Uh, you know, so like uh, right there. Yeah. yeah, right there. Maybe the island itself. Maybe. Yeah, that sounds good. Like that. Let's do that. Because if anything, yeah. if anything, it could use the island to block any sand launches towards itself. <laughs> uh, right, add some clutter to it or something. All right, so let's modify this. Let's modify this then to be here, or we said about like that, right? We said heading towards like basically the center of the island. Is that about right? right Perfect. Back? But, yeah, yeah. I think that's a good plan. Yeah, I like that. Okay. No, yeah, no, uh, no passing. Well, I mean, you're yeah, radioing, maybe, you're radioing this information to them, but you're not really right. tracking it. Anybody, maybe right? modify it like a little so we don't brush with this island or this. Island. Well, the assumption was that you might volcano. even. Well, this is how far you're gonna go, no matter what. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I'll tell okay. you what. i tell you what. Let me, let me go ahead and modify that. No, it's, it's okay. All right. Okay. Everybody good with continuing? I don't... Again, I think we checked that this distance was not enough for visual. Uh, can I ask one? Go ahead. Uh, Dim the radar now, right now. Say again. Any of the Japanese ships emitting radar or not, like... They are not emitting right now. Yeah, not uh, right no. now. Okay. Um, now, um, I think it's perfectly acceptable to to think about possibly turning on air search. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, so. I think that that's perfectly reasonable. Does anybody on the red team object to that? Air radar system. They should definitely go on yeah, air search. I think it just so. makes sense. Yeah. Do you wish yeah, to right. keep it on or just turn it on periodically? Uh, personally, I'm thinking like uh, turn on the Amatsukaze's radar. Yeah. Like okay. an anti search. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, I, I think see. it's probably just as good to keep it on because they're going to know you're there anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and do that then. So, why am I doing that? I'm actually, yeah. So, which, what is that radar type? Sitting over here. Okay, that radar AS is the SPS twenty nine. 
Ooh, he's got a good good rainer. And the maximum was. So what are we going against? That was a that's a small helo, right? So one twenty two. Again, this is towards small. I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but oh, that's a horrible color. I'm not going to fill it either. It's, let's just use that and not fill it. It's like way off the it's off the, it's off the charts, right? You have the entire <laughs> you, you you can see anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Within the map, okay. Okay, so um, you definitely. This can can we shoot it immediately? Um, you so, no, I mean, you would not. So, I'm you would detect like it. Some some range. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to plan yet. You would detect it. Oh no, the... no no no! I, I I know we we can't fire yet. But the question is like, does it have a? Does the Sam reach? Yeah. What what's the range of? Five nautical miles. Oh, okay. So you definitely have that. So, no, nope. nope. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was the range again? Let's go look at that again. Seventeen point five. Let's go look at. It. I think. I if we were speeding at you, it would be double that because of so the F pull, the but we're not. The Schmer three. Let's just take a look at this, that. This this is another thing I will have issue with the rules and worry about. I, I, I mean, it, it probably should only be uh, factored to anti-ship missiles and aircraft that have no awareness that they are painted with the radar. Because otherwise everyone will Here's a just question. probably turn around. Are these actually block two or block three? They're block one. I, oh, actually, I don't know. They show up as block three there, but I guess it's both. Block two and three in the uh, data, I think. Mm -hmm. So then the yeah, that's kind of weird, isn't it? No, that makes sense. Seventeen point five for air and surface. So am I supposed to read that as block two and three have the same stats? Like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. They might. That means it probably was an upgrade that wasn't noticeable enough when it came to range. Yeah, the block the block numbers get a bit um a bit um. Well, they go up and up arbitrary. I think they're like, they're like well, any any mate, any any change can be different. Or just um, it could yeah. be software update that changed the interface a little, right? Paint color. Yeah, <laughs> slightly <laughs> different, slightly different materials used in the casing or and something along those the... lines. It's now it's teal still... blue instead of sea blue, so we're gonna. <laughs> it's still a shockingly short range. For a Sam, yeah, that's yeah. actually pretty good for this era. Well, the, yeah. the, 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 main, the main advantage the standards had over the previous stuff was the Aegis system now to coordinate to, it's an to coordinate uh, system, more effectively with other vessels. But Aegis yeah. took a while to bowl out. But it wasn't some the only first dedicated Aegis ships were the Tycho, Tycho Cruisers. So it wasn't the early Burts didn't come till so late eighties. So it's the exact opposite of that. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. Oh, so the start angle is... Oh, God, somebody please help me. Next time, Peter, let me know, and I'll fill out all these sheets and send... Or these JSONs yeah, I mean, for each ship and send it to you. Yeah, it's fine. All right, so yeah. we need to flip this, though. Okay, so the start angle would actually be 30, and it would go to... And it would go there. It goes. That actually did it right there. Right. I think that's it. It's an aft firing mount, by the way. <laughs> so point the ship properly later. All right. Um, <laughs> no, don't please. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right, let, let us proceed. Boy, did you not know? So you're seeing it, and you're well out of range. Next turn. Yep. Okay. Interesting. So now we're within the, we're well within the small, well within the V small. 
I still don't think I still don't think it sees this, correct? Nope. No. Nope. It would not. Not until this, okay. To the right now to the guys, left of him also. This is not potentially right. sees that. No, it's beyond the range still. Yeah, well, we're still not in the... Um, still early days. Yeah, still early. What, what actually is the scale here? The, oh, okay. Hold on, I can show you that. So this is there, 50. Right no, I don't believe so. Oh, okay, thanks. No, then visually they won't be seeing okay. them yet. Anybody call for any other adjustments based on any other new detections? Any other new detections thought of? No one is emitting here. We're emitting AS here, so would they see the emission of the AS? Yes, they would, right? Who would, would see? they? Because isn't AS pointed up? Isn't that a rule or something? Or no? Am I misremembering? No. You can, you can still. Yeah, but I just want to see what the radar the range is here. If anything, maybe. Maybe does the helix have a yes? Let's check that because I don't. Oh, that'd be sweet, but I don't believe it does. No. No, it doesn't. No, it does not. So at best, this would be the closest ship. So that's. Our best ES is on the Kara. It's a Gen 2. Okay, so Gen 2. They're all smalls, is that correct? There is an um, Kara's a medium. Kara's a medium. It's a, it's a CG. Which one is that? Uh, left. That one. This, this cruiser? Yeah. Does it have the, any radar? The Petro Pavlovsk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a Kara class. It's a medium. So it's a medium. So let's take a look at that. So medium, too small. We're well with that. We're well beyond, right? Seeking was, Seeking was large, right? Or no? No, we're looking at yes. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're looking at we're looking at who can who can pick up this air search radar. I don't think anybody can. No, it'd be 25 nautical miles would be the best yeah, pickup for that. Okay. That's well beyond. Alright, cool. Just in case we mess anything up. Alright. Go forward then, right? Here we go. Any other thoughts here? Any other new detection? I think this is getting close. We're at 7.8 nautical miles. Next turn, I would see it. I think you're right. The time is not enough for it to go up. We're at 6.15. Nope, 6.30 is when it ticks over to 70. Okay. Any we would have just picked up the, the submarine, though. The helix. Yes. At least... So this is what you see. I think we see all the ships now, unless it's blocked by an you island. Have, but and you do not have visual confirmation that it's no, same. just that it appeared on the radar now. Okay. Let's just triple check. We're not missing anything. Did anything that, that far anything... left TNT? It would also be visible to the helix at this point. Yep. Yes, to the radar, unless this one? the sub. Nope. That... One, unless it is sub, which is stealthy, then we yeah. wouldn't see it. Right. And that's the thing. You just don't know at this point until it's visual. Dan, would you change our flight path with this information yet? I don't. I mean, I, I think at know. most he might come yeah. like that, right? I think that might just make him naturally maybe aim for the peak, skirt the rim there, right? Right yeah. into. <laughs> I, think, I think. Is that agreeable? But but here's yeah. question for, for me, Peter. We do oh see God. the leftmost contact on the radar, actually. Yeah, he showed that. Okay, go. then it's not a sub. Right. Well, we know where the sub. 
Well, we you don't. You don't because get... sub is stealthy. So if we can bat this guy with the right uh, small range, yeah, very small range, understand. It's yes, not a sub. You would not think that this is the sub. That, but, that, you don't, but you don't know. That, that is my problem with this scenario a little. It's it's too easy a little to spot the sub this way. Yeah, but another another is that. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's putting himself in harm's way. Potentially. Yeah, that's good. Also, also the fishing boats are not moving initially, according to the scenario. No, I changed that. Oh, you changed that. Okay, yeah, that's they're better. they're moving. Okay, yeah, he, he's right. I, if this was that's if, better also. If, if this was double blind, we would immediately know As that. As a matter that of fact, you would this... know. You would actually know. Hold on, let's change that. You would actually know the course and speed. Yeah, exactly. We, we would know the the course and speed, but this, oh, is actually but this might change help you. This actually good. might help you. This because... is change good to the scenario because otherwise it's too easy if you know that the submarine is not moving and okay. I mean fishing boats are not moving and submarine is. Right. I changed it. it though. I changed it to, to match speed them. too. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> so when you look at this, you would not necessarily know it was this one or this one, but you do know it potentially would be this one. Thinking if the sub was stealthy, right? Right. Yeah, Is that probably. what you're saying? Possibly. Yeah. We can debate yeah, I think that. I think if you're a player and you were going to do this double blind, you would not tell the players that the stealth that it's stealthy versus very no. small. You yeah, know. exactly. You wouldn't exactly. know that That's they true. you wouldn't know that they did those extra efforts. So right. I mean honestly I think yeah, I think we should still true. split the bill here. Yep. Yep. All right. And I already just did that. Yep. Or do you feel like I should Nope, perfect. Perfect. Anybody disagree on blue? Uh, Anybody disagree with our system? right? Yeah, it sounds. I mean, I just wanted to make sure that everybody kind of agreed to that. All right. So that's what red sees. This is still what blue sees at this point. Okay. Everybody good? All right. All right. Let us continue. Oh, now things get interesting. Oh. Now seeking probably will. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is, uh, these are visual maybe, here. Maybe do contact. I think definitely you would have visual here, right? For both. That's that's the question because uh, you remember Peter how the visual detection works now. Yeah, I mean it's a, a gradiated, right? It's it's a. Yeah. What's so... what's what's let let's let's do this to to. to I think show he people, definitely or... would see this one. Right. I mean, there's. I mean, what's what's the right? What's well, if he this, rolled man? badly. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah exactly. You fly right past. You want me to pull? Because what's what's the distance between them? What section do you want me to go to? Page sixty. Uh, Just page six. It's five yeah. twenty-two visual detection. Uh no, actually go go directly to five. Although no, yes, go go to. No, you know what? Uh, fir first, go to is. Well, here, let's look at this. This is sighting from ships, which is, would be different. Here you go. Use the row on the air to surface table for the sighting conditions and apply any appropriate modifiers. Then use the visual detection chance table. Okay. Okay, so look at that because the greater haze. Okay, so we are in low, by the way, right here. So we do need to take into account that right there. Aircraft searching from low <clears throat> drop down two rows because of the greater haze and lower earth and the reduced. Right, I forgot. I actually forgot to incorporate that. <laughs> okay, so we are yeah. still here. Yeah, but but that's not the, yeah. this table. Yeah. The the correct table is on the next page. You have. No, you know what? The, another page. Oh, here, air to surface visibility. Yeah, exactly. So we have 50. Right here. And then the, and the, this is the class of the target, right? Correct? Actually, I, I forgot to speak with you about that because the, the correct class is, I believe, D or C. But okay. But for submarines, the class automatically drops one by one class for visual that, sighting okay, because so they are ran so ranked here, low. But also we drop, I, I took here because this is... Yeah, the we drop 15 two down, drop. 
but we drop two down because it's from air, right? Or from in, it's in from it's from the from low. Okay. Yeah. I don't think they mean here, Peter. I think they mean on the next chart when you roll it. Okay. It's drop two. Okay, so where is that? One more page, I believe. Uh, another page. Keep going. It's the big. Uh, hold on. Must have been right before. I believe this this one, one. One prior. This one. Yeah, that one. Yep, that's right, what you so would roll. So the visibility two range on. was in, we were here, right? Right. So. I actually believe it. It is dropped one more table because if you look so you have a at the modifiers. Is, is it correct it, that I'm? That's a seventy-five percent chance to see it at at six point five because that's where you're yes, at. exactly. Yep. So that's yep. about. So go ahead and just roll for that then. Um, it actually. Use... I, I think it actually drops one more table because if you look at the modifiers below. This, is this, this where table we have to go down? Is... We have to go down here, don't we? If I believe, yeah, for probably the low, because because if the if the ship less it the table down, so it acts. I believe. I'm sorry, you're saying there's there's additional shifts. Yes, if you look at the 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 notes here, the only note here that is important for you is ships and their. At five knots or less, are reduced one table for both day and night. Yeah, but they're not that. Oh wait, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the, the, so that the goes down even more. So that goes here then, right? So yeah, I, I, I'm it's not sure if this is not, but I don't know if this is the drop not on this table, but on the table on the next page there to surface visibility. Table. Okay, so there's a fifty percent chance for both. Well, actually, there's. He's definitely seeing the closer one. He's he's absolutely yep. seeing the closer one, but here he's got a fifty percent chance on the other one. Why don't we get Ken to roll in the Saki uh, on the Rocks but, game one? But Peter, these are distances in thousands of yards. Oh, yeah. oh. Not nautical miles. So it is not five five miles, it is miles. It's half, right? Yep. So we're actually at. Okay, so we're more like this. So we have a ten percent chance on the. Um, we have a ten percent chance on the further one and a fifty percent chance on the, the closer one. No, we no. What that's saying, Peter, is that it's no chance of seeing the further one. Okay. What? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's beyond this. You're saying. Yeah, because. Yeah, in thousands of, half of half yards, half. the other one's at nautical miles. Yeah, so double right. the number on Simplot to get what it is in thousands of miles. You're right. So, yep. so, Seven point fourteen thousand, roughly. Well, yeah, it's it's yeah, it's, it's not two, it's not two thousand yards a mile, or is it two thousand yards a mile? It's two thousand yards yep. a nautical yep. miles. Uh, so it's half. Game, yes. So you half it. So it's, you half that, yes. Yeah, so it's so that four, roughly. Less than for, for simplicity, Harpoon uses so this one. two thousand mile, yeah. uh, two thousand yards to a mile. So this one has ten percent chance. Yards from north to come out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why they don't use. Well, so somebody else roll point. that. Have Ken roll it. To show him how. I don't think he's he's done the dice roller before. Uh, you should show him right. how to do it in the chat. Exactly. Okay, he's gonna have to click on nope. the what the Saki blue. You mean put it in the Saki blue? <clears throat> sure. All right, so here, Ken, I'm going to show you how to do that. You do 1D. Did you see how I did that in the Saki Blue? Is he still here? Ken, are you there? I think he went into the blue, did he? Yeah, no, um, no, there's no one in blue. No, I Couldn't think his, his uh, headset might not be gone. Has anyone else never rolled the dice before? On I've never score. I've never done it. Me, to be honest. I've never done it. I think Ken's having problems with audio. I see him trying to speak, but it's not coming through. Mm -hmm. All right, so you didn't see him. Oh, okay, that's cool. So you have to be pretty damn close. So just could we just go over that just very quickly? So mm -hmm. on the air to surface visibility, it says fifty percent to a target size E is fifteen thousand or. 15,000 kiloyards, yeah? Or 15,000 yards. Right. Yeah. 
big chart then. 15. Okay, we, we dropped were, that yeah, you're right. By, we, weren't, we weren't on the but, right. But we, two because we're at low. We didn't yeah. start correctly. But no, you know what? All, all the At least for the rest of the tables, the drops are not on this table on probability of detection, but the drops are on the air to surface visibility rate. It's not right. No, no, no. it's on the other. It's on around. the drop. Yeah, the drops yeah. are on this table ah, here, not the other. Okay, so they changed so, it. Okay, sorry, so, sorry. It's, so it's so it's on there. It's um, if we go fifteen on there, we then drop two because we're at low. Yep, we then 14. drop what? We drop one more because it's going at five knots. Is that right? So thirteen point five. Yep. Uh, was there any other drops? No, so. so that's no. where you there, should be rolling. There, there are there are two two drops for the altitude and one yep. drop because yep. the submarine is going five knots. Okay, so actually yep. we should be a bit better, shouldn't we? Yes. Yeah, you should be better. Yeah. So this is. Uh, sorry, points. because I, I thought I thought the drops yeah. are on the visibility table right. because this is how it was done. S yeah. So this using... is four point okay. seven five nautical miles. So you do automatically yeah. see the close one. Yeah, you see the close one. And then, and then you need to roll to see if you see the next one. This is five nautical miles. This is. I'm just gonna do it because math is horrible. So five point seven five for this one. So we're actually on this one, right? I think you're on thirteen point five. Yeah. That's six point seven five. You're right. Well, have we got a chance to see the second one as well? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, yep. yeah. No, Who on the blue's 9. helicopter is that? Do they want to roll the dice? No. Hold on, this is six point nine. Oh, is, is it not? Out, out of range then? Is it? Oh, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. fine. Yeah, just barely. Fine. Just barely. Oh no, it's fine. It is what it is. But you absolutely see TN five four three nine, and it's a fishing yep. boat. Yeah. Uh, yes, and you would. Okay. I mean, you can react if you want to react in any way. I would say that we. Probably would possibly stay in um, this direction. A but bit. we. Unless you don't want to, based on the original intel. I suppose if we sailed past the fishing boat, we wouldn't know there wasn't the submarine right in also, front. Also, did so... these guys see each other yet? As air to air? Oh, no, air to air visibility is actually quite shite in this. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Surprisingly so. And it's not like we can. It's not like we can shoot each other anyway. Um, there no, are, we can wave to each other. I'd like to yeah, flip them off. <laughs> I like to. I like uh, to... Actually, no. no actually, <laughs> roll, roll for actually, the psychological no, damage. No, actually, yeah. during during the during the Cold War, when um when the Amer when NATO jets um, Soviet bombers on long range long range going down to Cuba. Yeah. The Amer boy magazine with uh, <laughs> the heck do I have this thing and twice? air to air visibility it's two is... miles two, no it's one mile it's one mile Ranging... odd yep. they fly into each other why is that locked yeah so you can't uh, be able to see no okay fine and that so and um, how far is it to that TN9553 from so here's something Nato. weird why is that is that but locked? Go down. That's weird. Can you make it? I just wanted to change the symbol because the symbol is wrong, but I couldn't modify the. Yeah. Unit. That's kind of weird. Uh, can't you if you? Oh no. So... Oh. Yeah, this, I just be... want to modify yeah. it. I don't think you can modify units once the game started. Is the issue? Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. Maybe that's probably a reason for it with the replay. Okay. To be honest. Huh? Although, whose ever helicopter that is, which came off... Um, that came off the... Um, Shiri... Um, uh, Amatsukazi? Uh, that's got... Um, or Na it, Nagatsuki. Was this from Nagatsuki? Uh, no, uh, this is... No, it's from the... Shiryaku. 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 Yeah. Yep. Say it again one more time. This one. <laughs> Right. This one. <laughs> we're, we're doing our best. But, uh... yeah. Shiryuki. Yeah. Shiryuki. All right. You just gotta say. What I've found uh, is you have to you have to say it a little quicker than you intended. Yeah. I think from what from what I hear, like Shiryuki. Oh, I would. Uh, um, we'll leave the uh, unless uh, whoever's was taking command of that one wants to. 
Okay, so I don't I don't know necessarily whether they would try to get no, closer no, we'd to see, that. Yeah. Positively ID, fishing boat, carry on. All right. Yeah. All right. Everybody good? Uh, something yeah. that we Red needs to discuss, that we now see the Japanese. I missed the last part. For some reason, when you talk, huh. you're, the end of your audio gets cut off. It's kind of it's weird. Maybe I need to adjust my sensitivity. I think um, I because it kind of like cuts off right at the end. No, I was saying we see level. the... We see yeah. the... With the helix. You see which one now? You see this one? All of them. All They're all them. small. All the Japanese ships we see them with the helix. They're within okay. range of the on radar. Is and I believe one? we cleared this we cleared this island enough, probably. Maybe. I mean if we are at the peak of the island we would. Okay, now you see them all. And you do see that this guy's not moving, by the way. These guys, I'm not sure, but the, the question is if we are above the peak of the island, because we, if we are above the PC, the, is destroyers. Yeah, but not the fishing ships, the warships, we see them. Yeah. Because they are in range, and if we are above the highest uh, point on the island, then... Yeah, I I don't want to get into the line radar I mean, line of sight right above here. islands question. Yeah, I would yeah, think that you probably don't. Island. I feel like you might not see these because you were. I, I I don't know. You 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 it's definitely been... know they're there. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So does that mean they see all of them? I think they do, right? Well, we have them on radar if we cleared the highest peak on the island. I think That's you my did. Take on it. You, you did. Yeah, Otherwise, we're fly we're flying above it. it. Otherwise, you ran into yeah. it. Yeah, it. I'm not gonna. Split hairs on that. As a matter of fact, it still yeah. didn't. It still didn't modify. That's kind of weird. Oh, because you have to do the waypoints, Peter. Uh, that's why. It's, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. we'll just. Fly that's why. Right. That's fine. They're mm. they're they're still flying with at a thousand. They're, they're going over the peaks. They're napa verfing that. All right. So, um, my assumption is that within this tactical turn, they're going to be able to detect all these. Anybody disagree with that? No. Nope. Probably not the course and speed yet, but mass select will come into handy. Yes. What I don't like is just that right there is where you. There's no real way to get around it though. It's kind of difficult. It's difficult to pick to pick units directly without. Being yeah, if you click it, you have to go to the units tab at the top, the drop down, as opposed to right clicking. Do we have visibility on any of those ships on the right, or are they too far from from here? Yeah, fishing boats. No, I don't no, think it's so. too far. No, too far. Okay, you are creeping down here a little bit. So these guys are still unactive. So again, so this is where you would be radioed at the end of, at the detection phase of this. At basically the beginning of the next turn, I would think I would judge it. Mm -hmm. You can you would radio. The position of these units. So at the beginning of the next turn, you will know these ships will know the general whereabouts of those, and that they're all there. Juicy targets, mm -hmm. potentially. Let's see how far are we. All right. So then let's start thinking about uh, missile ranges, right? The only ones with relatively reasonable. What is the guidance on the missiles? Because if they're if they're using semi-active guidance for the last phase, so if they're using active guide uh, radar for the last phase, they can't actually be fired around here because we're within uh, probably way too close to land masses. Maybe these, but not this one. I believe it's a Gen three, potentially. Where are you oh. I mean, this is not pop poking through. I don't. I don't see any islands that would give that much clutter. Is that what you're asking I don't know, about? I mean, not not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't mean like right now, but like in general around here, we gotta be careful with that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, let's take a look at how far that is. These are seven oh. miles off, though. You know, we'll see. Yeah, we definitely need to keep it into account. They um, are. 
the radar harmony and then T I. What's T I R H? That's T A R H. What? Terminal active oh, well, radar harmony. Which one? Sorry. T I R H. Terminal infrared. Oh, terminal infrared but... radar. Terminal infrared homing, not radar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They're guided. They're inertial guidance as well. They're not. Yes, that's that's right. They're inertial, they're inertial to a certain point. Yes, okay, they would. Then they so... would activate this. They use a seeker to home into the final. One plug. last. One last check. Anything. Anything we're missing as far as who sees what, who, what, where? Nope. So these are all, let's just review that just very quick. Helix sees all these. Helix, Osmonog sees all these. ES, we definitely know the Helos here. But we don't know anything else about the enemy. The blues, from the blue perspective. Right. So that's what we see. We see that is there based on Amatsak. Uh, Amatsukazi AS. I mean, they, they all have ES now, too, yes, as well, Tor. <clears throat> yes, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All these, too. Cool. Okay. All right. We will continue. All right. Proceeding. Ooh, now things get interesting. <clears throat> Let's turn a few things off here. So, ES, we definitely still know that that's there. These guys are still outside of range here. You can turn our radar off too, because we know they're all in range. This guy. I the. Uh, um, per yeah, it wouldn't be visible to blue at that point, right? Correct. No, we would. I'm saying on the sensors. If you just want to declutter the map for a minute, you can not show sensors. There you go, because we all know everything's in range. Turn that back on a minute. All right, so. Anything new, probably, possibly visual here. You want to get this visual. This is what you're looking for. So we need to go check the tables for these two. Yeah, so C yeah. drops down to D. Well, let's go through it. Real quick. Let's go through it now that we've done it a couple yeah. times. So let's, let's start here. So you're saying, what is the target? A, let's start from scratch. What is the target? It's a C-class small submarine. Okay, but it's considered a D because the submarine. Yes, that, yep. Here's the thing: yes, it's considered a D because the surface submarines automatically are dropped one. Um, I thought we were doing one, E last time. I thought they, we most e. of them is submerged. I thought we I, I would actually. No, that that was correct earlier, e. Peter, because it was very small fishing boats you were looking at. That was correct earlier. Okay. Oh yeah, you're right. Yep. Okay. Yep. So now so we're doing the sub though. Right. Although we, with sub, I think the sub should also lowered to E because the guys are going hull down. Well, they're five the, knots the, or because, less, because right? they are not because because they are par partially submerged. But this is my opinion. <laughs> this one. It doesn't no. change much in my opinion. No, this that's, what I don't yeah, that's like. a modifier. What modifiers are supposed to happen here? And and that's the only thing that's really kind of throwing me off. Like None they, of those there. They, those are all applicable no to the above chart. But we modified that, the you, size. You know what? That's that's the thing. Oh, that's a okay. that's a submarine special rule in the submarine section. Okay. Okay. So it started off as a C and it ends up a D, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, we're, and we're still at fifty percent. Is that correct? Yep. Uh -huh. So we start with this nineteen, right? Yes. Correct. Okay. Let's let's do it real slow. Here's the nineteen. We're gonna do how many shifts down for what? Two down for an air. Or low air. Yep. Low air. Two down. One more because of. Less than five knots or five knots or less. Okay, so this is it, right? Yep. So we're what is our distance? This is half of this is six. So we actually have we detect them automatically. Actually, it works because how, how do you think, Peter? It works. What what do you do? The distance because you. Uh, this is it kilo, works a little. This is mm -hmm. kilo yards, right? Thousand yards. Mm -hmm. So you have it. That's six nautical miles. They yep. automatically yeah, see it. Yeah. They automatically see him. Oh. We see the, we see the sub. You see the sub. It's it. But it but yep. it does not work like this. You know, I just read the rules and I I also remembered it differently. It's <laughs> not that this is the chance of sighting because I don't know why hold I on, also hold, hold, thought it is the chance of sighting. What you do, you roll. We should roll now the dice either why? way. If it's one hundred percent, why yeah, would you roll? 
Because here, here, here's the thing. Uh, ro roll a die and visual die. Cl yeah, visual classification title. Yeah. Uh, okay. But I see but saying. here's the thing. Now you now you should roll d hundred. Okay. And right you here. should. Yeah, that's it. But when do you do this? Optional roll. Optional roll, by the way. You know, yeah, it's optional, so maybe <laughs> optional. Let's not do that. Uh, yeah, then. let's go ahead and let's optional, not do that. that. But but oh, go go back to the uh, to the visual detection chance because this is something they either messed something up in the rule description because how the rules stated you this is not the chance of detecting the ship. You roll the hundred. You base column that is higher than this percent number i don't i don't get that yeah i, I don't wait hold on no. read I mean, the rules okay, do, do we have a moment to read yeah, the rules it's... citing from ships so, so in the detection phase, here yeah, yeah but go go above and read the first two paragraphs of citing from ship yeah on, I will so on a clear See, this is why we play long-range missiles only. Yep. Find the maximum line of sight on the surface of service and use that distance on the... That's what we just did. Yeah. So yeah, but was... then move, roll, roll the 100 and apply any modifiers. Then move across the range row to the first column where the detection value is greater than the modified die roll. And oh. this gives you yeah. the detection yeah, but, the but at which you spot the target. It's kind of like a six and a half dozen, yeah, isn't it? I mean, it's yeah, kind of... It's we need more those, yeah, we need more of those flow diagrams, don't we? Yeah. This is a game that flow diagrams are um are very much. Oh, right, that's but that's just... that's true. At yeah. twelve, if it is twelve or less. So I need to get. So I gotta get. So yeah. hold on. Let me. I'm just gonna roll the hundred. All right. So I rolled yeah. a fifty-eight. Right. Sorry. So I, I I would be here. Then I would like check here. So I see. This range. If, if, he, yeah. if he is 30 nautical miles, miles or less, uh, mm -hmm. kilo yards. No, 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 it's half of that, 7.5. Yeah, uh, right, yeah, right. 6.5. Uh, 7. Uh, 6.5 nautical yeah, miles. Yeah, then. Yeah, what's, I, I what's forgot. The hell, what's the if they are, yeah, I, I just need another coffee. That's, that's the reason <laughs> why. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now that we went through that. <laughs> okay. These so we are, see those two. You know the classes too, so then. Alright, we know and we know that. We already know that. Alright, so um what do you do with that information? We're now up to six twenty one, let me go ahead and save it. Does the does my helicopter also spot the uh um chop, uh sub? That's a good that's a good idea, we should check. I Let's think see. this one. It looks here. like I'm a bit closer. Yeah, you got them too. You got them both. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't we don't need to roll on that. I think you don't you don't see that. I wouldn't think. Okay. And just but based even on... even even if we don't see him, that's irrelevant. It's important if if we spot the sub, then the rest of the guys won't okay. be. So what's okay. interesting here is we both spotted it at the same tactical turn. At the same time. Yeah. So alert to the rest of the guys. We've spotted the spot of the sub. Um, yeah. Get cracking. Can we so go to our that... rooms for like yeah. ten, five, ten minutes and discuss as teams because we're both at the same kind yeah. of point. Yes, and yeah. I'm going to take that as a break for me. Yeah, bio, bio, <laughs> bio <laughs> break. <laughs> yep, go for it. All right, let's uh, go to go, our individual go rooms. Blue. I'm just gonna take a screenshot. Oh, mm -hmm. he's not showing it anymore. What do you want Never to mind. Show you? There you go. There he is. All right, I'm gonna pull a snip of that. Snipping tool. New. Oh, do you want me to just export a picture for you? No, this is fine. Right. Perfectly fine. You, you got enough of a visual? I can zoom out if you need.
All right, Peter, we got our orders. Yeah, well, that's the thing. If they're further away than 5.7, uh, mm -hmm. depending on the ship, obviously, that's their best, they can't actually see it in their mm -hmm. radar. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that, like, the Herex so did they, the exact position with the shield, and, like, uh, other PGGs, like Grom or something, the fire this SM, hey, um, can, maybe, if we can I don't wrap know up. if that works or not. Oh, like, like, like a bearing on, like, sort of putting the missile in that general direction. And yeah, general direction and fire the missile. Hobby, it's like they have don't you written, care, have you doesn't care. Again, if sorry? there's a have fishing you, have board you written or down what you've decided in some way uh no we're, we're we're not quite there yet all right well all right two minute warning then and then come to the okay. main room okay all right i gave him a two minute warning <clears throat> Simulating uh, the chaos and speed of naval warfare. <laughs> Alright, sorry, I stepped away for the bathroom. I had given them a two minute warning, so they should be here. All right, we have our orders ready. If you wanna, we can set those in. Um, sure. Okay. All right. All right. So the the destroyer on the right, the uh, all the way to the right, that one. It's just gonna go its pos top possible speed. So what is that? And you want me to change on all the existing waypoints then you're saying right here? Um, yeah, I think it's 32 for that one. It's the, okay, we'll check it. Cannon class, right? Yeah, we can check it real quick. Um, Mean it. next. Let's see the speed for that max. I believe is 32. the speed for that is 32. Yep. This one next to it. Um, I think we want those to all Go up to 32, yeah. And these, but keep their current waypoints. 32 current waypoints, okay. Yep. All like this, so 32, 32, 32. Yeah, we want to try to keep them still in formation, just go up to 32 knots as opposed to um, 30. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other change in radar? Anything, sensors, anything? Not. Yet the the destroyer course you can hug it closer to the island, like yeah. have it end on the yeah. sub. I mean, you can explain. Um. Okay. Uh, are you ready for orders then? No. Uh, yeah, just, just hold it one second. Just hold it one second. All we're right, gonna so finish up we're, the we're, reds. We're putting in the red ones. So sorry, I'm sorry did I finish yeah. it? Um, yep, those are all fine. These are the fine. far right. We just want to change its waypoints. The far okay. right destroyer that we change the speed. This... Right. Right. Nope. This one. In the other group of three. Right here? Yes. This yeah. Okay, yeah. See how it's web points going? Mm hmm Yeah. See how it's going wide? We want it to stay close to the island and end up on the here. sub. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, just so it ends with the sub. So that, that'll be our idea of, um, like, more like you know, that. hugging it. Perfect. For now, we can adjust it more lighter if we have to. Yeah. The helo will, will go hover over the sub. Okay, so it's going to change. It's going to delete its waypoints and hover over the sub. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Yep. Same altitude, everything. Just, just going to go hover over the sub. Okay. So let's just get rid of all of them then. Yeah, it's the box a little further north than that. Just That's why I need the sixes. Not... Hold on a second. I'm just not doing it right. Son of a gun. Hold on. <laughs> it's 
hard to do it on one. I don't know why. It's just a little finicky. All right, so let's do modify waypoints. Click it, tick it. There we go. You want it over it and hover. Yeah. I don't know how that's gonna. It'll shoot past it when it flies. So maybe just have it so that it ends on that. Right. It's difficult to. Right. Yeah. It's we can just like do a it's... zigzag back and forth. Yeah, that's fine. We can just it, zigzag. It'll be near yeah. that. It's, it'll be considered. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And then the other three ships are just going to go to 32 knots. And all their waypoints. Mm hmm that should keep formation pretty good. I think that's it for red. All right. Yep. Okay, now blue changes. Do you want to change anything about the helos first? Um, yes. Uh, rendezvous with the uh, visible um, sub and flash a, um, a nice friendly welcome. Okay, hold on a second. We need to change that then. I don't think I changed the visibility here. Eat pig. <laughs> Eat rotten fish. Okay, hold on. Let's do this from blue again. Okay, so then you want this one to go directly towards that yeah fish is only rotten on your side because of your terrible political system <laughs> you, yeah you, yeah, you, yeah why does harpoon always yeah. <laughs> digress to a political <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, well the well the inefficiencies of the soviet transport system could be quite could result in that sort of thing yes or inefficiencies of the soviet economy system economic system Nothing, Comrade. Like, we have best fish. So this, is a, this is a little bit difficult to do with the waypoints. I, I might talk to Kevin about this a little bit because if your waypoint is like if I do a tactical move, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. Um, all right, so that's changing that. Any changes? Yeah. Any changes um, for now? The, the, the right hand uh, group is doing exactly what you've got there. We're just steering straight towards the sub. Okay, yep. so you want this um, to be changed. You want you want me to go ahead and change this and this to go right. Yeah, out. yeah. If you can pull that over towards yeah. the sub, yeah, we can do that. Hold on a second. What we can do is just take the same same speed. Just delete that and then take that and, and move it right at it. We were discussing in our room, by the way, that depending on the loadout for the KA twenty seven or the twenty five, we could win right now <laughs> by dropping a depth charge on the sub yeah. and calling it a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the fact if we can set up the charge solo enough to. <laughs> and my argument blood, is, you hit the sub directly. Devils. <laughs> yeah. What did the sub ever do to you? Eh? Right, so yeah. I think I, I think I corrected <laughs> that appropriately. Just... Yeah. Same speed. Thing. Same speed. Um, yeah, I'm just making sure the speed didn't mess yeah, up. If, if we can only hit the captain on the head when he's <laughs> on the conning tower, right? <laughs> yeah. Middle, okay. middle group um, Any, is yeah. doing exactly what it's doing. No worries. Okay. Um, just, do you want me to check the speed for you at all, just to be sure? Yeah, it's all they should be at the Same. maximum right. twenty-seven. Yeah. And, this... and uh, the left-hand group is going to steer. Um, so between the two pimples. <laughs> like this way. Uh, yeah, a bit bit further um, left. No, bit left. There you go. No, ground them, Peter. That's. <laughs> Between the pimples, not on it. <laughs> oh, hold on. Again, you just gotta... so Are there rules for dropping bombs from helicopters in this game? It's, the only thing uh, it's, it's just the general rules for dropping bombs. Yeah, exactly. But if you're stationary, standing above it and drop it straight down? Uh, I think there's modifiers for speed, so you just kind of oh, like nice. take this into account. This look okay. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Um, what about the uh, middle chopper then? Uh, I think that because we now know where the thing is, um, I think he's going to carry on. Coming this way, um, you think? Visual scout, yeah, just between the two islands, yeah, more or less where he is. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. here. Let me let me waypoint Visual him out. Then hold on, yeah. I think I need to waypoint him. 
Yeah. Let's get rid of this. You want him to go more like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Probably at least like that. Yeah. Okay. It'd be a very Let's short and exciting career. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, so I think that looks pretty good for Bluish. Yep. Alright, and then let's turn this back on. I'm gonna save it. Where are we at? 21. We're still at 21. So that's basically changing of prepping or plotting for that. And then let's move, okay? So we're gonna move one. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we need... Obviously this guy's gonna just go back and forth, right? And same thing yep. with these guys, right? These are both intending on kind of loitering in this area, is that correct? Both these you turn their speeds to zero now if you yeah, want. Yeah, I think I am going to. Right. And... Can you drag them now or no? Like, can you reposition them? No, you can't. No. Alright, so the assumption is, is that both of these are loitering and, and fl flipping each other off or whatever. Alright, so... We're, we're still at low... I think both are at 500. Wait, hold on. Yeah, we're at 1,000 still because we want the radar. Okay. Which, I'm sorry, which one? This one? No. Oh, uh, that's, we're fine at 500, but um, I think the helix is higher. It was in the sea. Yeah, we, we had, we had not. All right, no um, secret Soviet sea <laughs> helicopter, comrade. So, a marine helicopter. So, <laughs> you take your fresh fish and shove it. We have our sea helicopter. All right, so we have four. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're half hour into real time. Um, okay, so let's talk. Okay, so we're at the big. We, we've we've moved for. For the six two one movement, we've moved. Is there any new detections that would occur? Okay, let's look at it from both sides. Look, here's the here's the big picture. Is there anything new detected here? Would be. Peter, what's the time on on the how far have we got time wise? Just overall for the match, it. you mean, or for this? That, uh, as in, uh, you know, because we've got a helicopter which is yeah. being prepped, haven't we? Yeah, this that, that should be ready at this point. I think. Okay. It can we'll launch we'll, uh, we'll launch that. Um, and that's get next from. Turn. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, the Haruna. Next turn. Yeah. We'll do that at the start of the next turn, if you don't mind. All right. Um, yeah. Well, we're at the start of the turn, so we can we. Well, no, nah, actually, we're in the detection point. Uh, so, leave, leave it for now. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, any new detections? Let's talk. Let's let's go one unit at a time. Just this is where we don't want to mess up. So, is this? Kilo seeing anything new? It doesn't have any. Are we still sensors. at fifty, or has it gone up to seventy now? Um, nope, not for not until six thirty. Well, okay, let's see. What else do we see from Blue's perspective? We only see these, but would would not a one see this one now? Let's take a look. Six point three. Um, that that you know double it. So twelve dot six. Let's look at that chart real quick. Hmm. Um, was that the computed? Hmm. No. What am I thinking? What am I doing? I think we're still at a 75% chance there. I think this one is 75%. Anybody disagree with that? Based on our previous computations? Or, or is it a different size this time? Uh, we're low, so I think it's still um, it's different, isn't it? I think. You want to start from scratch again, real quick? You, we just need to know. If, well, yeah. you know the target. You need to know, right? I mean, do we even yeah. care yeah. at this point? You you no, got the one you're not looking really. at. All right. No, I, we, we, it could be a Russian ship. Could, Both no. sides know which one it is, so I think I'm gonna just go ahead yeah. and let me just go ahead and I, just I would, do that. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of it's just kind of pointless at this point for you know what you need to know. Yeah, we don't care really. Right. Unless it's glorious Soviet fishing boat, <laughs> then we need to protect it. Okay, I'm sure they'll be happy to sacrifice their lux for the cost. Okay, so again, again you, you, you know that these are just based on... Yeah. yeah. In, in, based on intel. <laughs> and intel. What, if, um, what if all of, the, of them are Chinese fishing boats? Uh, then we're in trouble. 
That's a new dimension to the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A bit far from home, but um That's okay. They're just building up artificial <laughs> they're just building up artificial islands around the island. That's okay. Yeah. Those they were, those zero altitude will be eight hundred meters in about a year. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. So no, I don't think based on there's definitely not visuals of that, so let's go look at that. So there's no new detections here, nobody's gone active here. Um, we're still AS active over yonder. Did we... Who would know the AS is active? Are we still within... It's 25 miles for the yeah, ships, I think, still. Uh, still, so it's still a good ways. It's still a good ways until they'll see that radar active, correct? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good to just do a go. And I think it's fine too because we know that where they are with the radar of the helix. All right, let's do. Okay, so now things get a little things are getting a little interesting here. Um, both sides know where the Japanese sub is. Any. Let's, let's work our way out. I want to consider the helix is going to let us know that there's a, another two. Another target here, you mean? Or another... No, the uh, helix knows, can see the Sea King, I assume, like they're... Um, that's a good question. Are, that's a good question. Um, let's let's yeah. talk about that, because I don't think we I don't think we determine that. They, they are both... I, I, I think both of them can see each other, just because we, we called out that they're loitering here. Um... I, yeah, I think they, they probably both would see each other. I, I don't know what's actual distance. Yeah, let me see. We'll just we'll just. Split. Oh, air to oh, actually. You can probably see us, there. but we probably can't see you. We're right above you. It's one, <laughs> it's one nautical mile for small and very small, the base range, and two nautical miles for medium and large, AC. Yeah. Well, you both you both you're declared, large and you're small, aren't you? You both declared loitering near the jet the sub. Yeah. So yeah. It, you see each other. You, you know your general well, whereabouts. Rather, yeah. Um, let, let's let's role play this and say we do because. All right. So anything new before we continue? Anything new? Call it out. Anybody? No, we we already called out. You wouldn't see the AS yet. So really, the helix. And we're not gonna. We wouldn't turn our radars on until right. we got closer. The helix Osmonog is really the main detection here, and then of course in reverse. They're seeing everything, right? That's yeah, definitely... Without that scenario, would probably be more balanced, right? Sure, that... but so far nobody's fired. I mean, yeah, sure. Sure. K twenty seven had it damaged or something. Right. The radar. All right. So let's. I'd say this. We can now. Uh, does this this helo? Would this helo make any necessary changes at this point? Either, based on knowing this. Or is it is it trying to visually see these the, the, either any task groups coming? Is the intention of NADA two to, to visually see inbound surface units? Well, what is the intention of this? Uh, this this uh, thinking uh, is uh, uh, now uh, see the uh, uh, Soviet. So you're doing basically an, a, a surface yeah. search at this point, I would think a surface search. So let's think about that. So how would it, let's just, it doesn't know necessarily exactly where they're at. It obviously knows they're coming from the north, but so would we do maybe even a zigzag pattern here to make it a little bit more realistic? You know, I, I, I would think he would want to zigzag. Let, let's zigzag him. Um, so maybe about a 320 or something yeah. like that, maybe. I, w I, I think it's reasonable for him to zigzag. And I almost feel like he would not be full military power at this point. What is the non-full military power? Is it 120. Yeah, I, I think that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. no, no, go to cruise, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Otherwise you're going to be burning fuel left and right. All right, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, you burn extra fuel hovering, right, a little bit. Uh, I think it actually... What costs almost as much, or if not more, to hover than it does to to cruise? Um, in hover, in hover, you need to use. It costs yeah. more to hover than 
right. cruise. So the assumption is that these guys are going the minimal cruise in a in a in a loitering pattern. <clears throat> All right, so we we will go back and forth with this one until he sees something potentially. All right, any other significant changes for either side? I'll stop moving around for a minute. Okay, we'll go forward. All right, that was. These guys are getting a little closer here. Well, are we saying that um, the first helo is now spotted the helix? Yes, these both have visual okay. on each other. We're just leaving. So we, the, a radio warning will then um, alert Haruna to switch on air radar. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Oh, it's ready. Haruna is going to turn on air radar too. So then you would. So air search here, okay. We've got a fair... I mean, um, well, I mean the <clears throat> the uh, Amatsukazi can it re it retained air search throughout. Oh, it's already. Uh, yes. I, uh, I think yeah, got... that, uh, yes, I just. Uh, we, sorry, we'd already got. Um, uh, yeah, I don't, wouldn't think you'd want to turn that on unless you unless uh, you lose. Sorry, I didn't realize we'd got. It. <clears throat> Here's yeah. the thing: if if for some reason this task group gets beyond here. Or beyond the the, the line yeah. of sight, then then I would, if you lose contact, I would say maybe they would be triggered to turn theirs on. Yeah. All right. I'd forgotten um, that the uh, Amatsukazi had it. Okay. Now, anything else? Okay. So we next it. Okay. Here we're getting a little bit closer visually. They might see this task group. I think we're on the edge of it, are we not? So let's double these ranges, right? So just immediately double those. That's roughly roughly twelve. Do we want to just go slowly back through it to see if they see them? Just for clarity sake. We can. These guys are. This guy's a medium. No, no, we should be. This cruiser is a medium, I think, right? Because then he might have better chance. Potentially, I don't. I don't know what class that is. Um, that's a B which... class. B, so it's big. Good. That's, yeah, right. medium. So let's let's um, let's check this out then. Is it is bigger than the others? Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's go ahead and check it out. About the size that matters, Simon. It's how you use it. <laughs> huh. That's how I've been told. You know who um, says? You yeah. know who says that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> One, two. Oh, D class ships. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. That's very good. <laughs> and they're going quick, aren't they? They're going. <laughs> they go in quick. Yeah, very precise. So that means we go precise up. precision. We go up one. <laughs> yeah. All right, hold on. Right. So we're yeah. let's I start think, B, yeah, and we we did pass the threshold of the time too, I think. Yep. Yes, so we're we so we're at seventy did. now. Yeah. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. here's yeah, the thing. Yeah, we are. Let's go ahead and put your other helo up. Yeah. Um, and that was from the uh, Haruna, right hand side. Have you considered that, like, if either of these helos, like, if the crew of either of these helos had, like, a pair of M16s or, like, AK-47s or something, they could legitimately threaten one another. <laughs> Why? Well, yeah, we, 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 we debated that well, during the uh, the pining uh, scenarios. We were debating whether they would at least have some 9mm firing at each other and just pop, 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 not, pop, pop. Yeah, not, um, that was actually, it, it, the first air to air combat did involve basically people, um, World, World War One did and pot shots each other with revolvers. <laughs> um, but yeah, and also as a fun, as a fun historical note, the first the first ever um, air to air kill was a uh, in seventy was in like seven, I have to the date. So, a balloon, we've got a balloon, a jewel involving hot air balloons. <laughs> what civil yeah, war? One, yeah, <laughs> Probably no, uh, in France. Oh France. yeah, the French, of course. Yeah. It, it was a, it was a, it was a, yeah, it was a jewel, um, jewel and um, they immediately one, retreated like, from one another. <laughs> uh, okay. No one, no, no one, no one guy punched the other guy's balloon, and, they, and the, the guy and his second fell to their death. Oh, what a terrible way to go! Bad luck, bad luck. I joke, right, I joke, thirty-four nautical miles then. Uh, no, sorry, no. thirty-four thousand yards. So, yeah. Is the standard range? So that right? that's yep. Yeah, so let's go thirty-four thousand. Drop all oh, right. 34, drop two. Why? No, it's not a sub. Low. Oh, low. low. Yeah. 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 Uh, but up one because you're going over twenty knots. 
Okay, so that brings us to the 32.5 on the left. Yeah, I, I'm still not convinced that we should move on this table, but okay, let's go for now. Because I, I asked Larry, but I probably will have answer in a week. Okay, so the... Objection okay. noted. <laughs> okay, so, so wait a minute, why is it so high now? Because it was 34. Oh, because we of the are size. We are pretty large size. sheep, yeah. because it's of the size glass. and the fact that... Yeah. Okay, the so you visibility. see them, you see that unit at least. Let's just say you see this task group. I mean, this, this, this Now, is... do we see them? No, it's like five nautical miles or something. You mean this, Somebody... does this see um, that? No, do, I would no. Uh, do we see a helicopter? Okay, so let's, no. at least, nope. let's at least modify this to be visible by blue. Okay. Yep. I'm not going to show the class yet. All right, so... Red. No, it should be fine. It should show up. There you go. Right, I mean, no, if they're seeing it, though, shouldn't they get a positive ID that's red? Yeah, a red you're ship? Right, you're right. Yeah, if we if we don't use the optional um, uh, identification rules, they should just know. Co pilot's furiously flicking through his Jane's uh, warship. <laughs> so we know this one is too, right? The, the identity rules give great fun to the game but it lo oh, yeah. it prolongs game very It'd be much horribly <laughs> frustrating wouldn't it no these rules extend the game by much but usually when you're good at them they they really worth it oh no absolutely so uh what vessel have we spotted there we don't know the clash cruiser? yet uh, oh but it's a big big missile armed nasty yeah, yeah you see fine. it it's um uh, you would probably know that it's a cruiser of some class i think yeah. at this point okay yeah so how would you like to you just want to relay that back yeah so we'll radio that back and i think um we'll probably um retire slightly um yeah i think so too you might want to yeah. come close to we have biscuits come about here ish maybe hide in the <laughs> yeah hide yeah go, go towards the, the the island to get the uh clutter yeah yep all right so let's do that okay. howard <laughs> He's flying a big helicopter with zero weapons. I think that's probably uh, reasonable. Make your eggs alive. Any changes for anything no, else? We'll just keep we'll keep annoying the um the, the helix with the. Okay, so he did not see that. He has no. He, these guys have not turned on any air search. Did this guy has no air search? Is that correct? The I'm sorry, the um, helix over here. Nope, it's only nope. Uh, nope. It's okay. not. It's only surface search. Interesting. I would immediately change that in the polo bureau. Very, right. v very few helicopters has uh, air search radar. Which is, yeah. which is... it's a relatively new concept. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. But even today, I don't think. Okay. I think we're good uh, to move on. I think we're good to yeah. continue. Yep. And let me make sure that I... What's the distance between uh, the red and the blues? Like our... Uh, blues. Give me one second. Let me get this helo, helo going. I'm assuming that this helo would go kind of center. This one that yeah. just took off. That'll like, do for now. Yeah. Like towards this so that it possibly can shade it. Yeah. All right, let's just do that, and then maybe just kind of, maybe, it might, I don't know. We can decide later. Take a little bit to get there. Um, and then what speed did we give that? We uh, just go at cruise speed for this time, I think. 120. Nope. That's cool. We'll yeah, you gotta you gotta set it in the, the waypoint, or it'll stay at zero. No, it'll automatically. Hold on, we'll see. We'll see. Hold on. And five hundred again, please. Mm -hmm. Let's check the waypoints. But I think what happens is if you have it set before you make the waypoints, it actually does okay. put it into the waypoints. By the way, um, but you are correct. Yeah, if you don't do it first, then it doesn't show up, and that's why the altitude doesn't stay either. By the way. That's why I had that problem before. Alright. I am going to save. Let's 
6.30 with planning done. Okay, I think we're good to go. Here we go. Any significant changes? We had Just, the visual. Uh, what's, the, what's the distance between the patrol vessels and here and the reds? There you go. Here, or the blues, see. I guess, in this case. <laughs> <laughs> it's relative. Yeah, um, you took like uh, the Grom there, yeah. There you go. So. Yeah, what's what would be the range for their radar using the Monolith T? Monolith the... T, it's pretty good, I think. Let's go look. Small, because. Oh yeah, I think I might have already plotted this out. <laughs> or did I? Uh, no, right. Th oh, you didn't have it. You didn't have it, um, Tom, when you did this one. Okay, so. He's, he's on, they only have the Yeah, I, I didn't, uh, yeah, they, you, they weren't you, unfortunately in the sea trap, yeah, and fine. I don't have uh, an export it's got the Soviet ship net. yet. You want to go previous, three clicks. Shoot. Oh. Yep. <laughs> One more, there you go. Oh, it's actually not that good. Yeah, it's not. You gotta have the ones that have the monolith T's. So let me just make a copy of this so we don't have to keep looking that up. Whatever. Just throw it down here. Okay. Alright. Um hmm? Why the hell did it get the garbage? The uh, shave B is too modern. All right, so yeah, that's not not that great, you know. So that that's the okay. thing; it's got a really good missile, but it's got a very powerful missile. But unless it's unless it's tied into somebody that can can give them a um, better resolution, then it's kind of not not as good as it could be, right? Um, anybody else? Any other considerations here before we go on? Uh, maybe uh, take seeking number two is lost the contact with uh, red vessel. Which I'm sorry. Because but... she take she take uh, depart uh, apart from the uh, red ships. One second. So I don't think we perceive this anymore, right? We actually do not see that at that point, but we do know it's right there. I'm sorry. Can you say that one more time? I, I think I missed. Yeah. Who, who who does not see which, which ship does not see which? Was that Ken? Oh, I guess you already turned it off. So yeah, it's okay, okay, cool. Yeah. All right. All right. Any other considerations? This guy's moving in. The um, helix is now low, isn't it? Which means does that mean that I'm at the Gazi? Yeah, does that mean Amatsukazi can't see it now on radar? It hasn't. This guy hadn't changed. He hadn't changed elevation. Yeah, he's dropped, hasn't he? He was at 1,000. He's dropped to 500. No, no but he looks still no, the same. This guy, no, he, oh, he, yeah, he purposely said yeah. that last time. Yeah, he, oh, sorry. Yeah. You're still at 1,000, then. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, because we want to see your ships. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> So at this point, though, I mean, you see their ships. I mean, I'll just call this out. I yeah. Mean, you've been tracking them for several turns, too. I'll just call I don't it think out. we have a data link to share for a uh, shot. Um, all right. Right? Slander. <laughs> right. But do we need... Uh, we need to look at that, because I think you have near real time, I would think. Oh, <laughs> excuse in, me. In Sorry. 19, in 1988. Oh, can, can you say it again? The, the, the ships are the, he the Hilo. The Helix has a data link, does it not? Let's go look at that. Mm, Helicopter, um, I... I think so. Hold on, let's go look at that. Um, or you could even do a visual. Hold on, where is it? Actually, the stats are in the scenario, aren't they? Yeah. Oh yeah, it has a Troy Nick data link. I think that? it's a near real time. 
Can it, can, is the Troy, can it use it with the ships, or is it a data, data link for I the... I think uh, it's for, I think it's... Anti-surface warfare. I think it might have to speak to its parent ship. Let's, what was it called? That was Troy, Nick. T-R-O-Y. It's N-I-K. It's on page 86. <laughs> it's also out of range for the surface. Five nautical miles. Ah. Ooh. Ooh, that sucks. Really? Uh, that sucks. That 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 would be the limitation, right? Unless it's unless I'm misunderstanding this, because it says air line of sight. Does that mean because it's an air unit, it has line of sight of yeah. 100? That means it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a no. It's a radar. It's, it's not line of sight for um. Yeah, is it formed in the air? I think is that radar is available for both. I think. Right. Or okay, think, so think, yeah. so it's 20. So it'd be 100. No. Yeah, because they because they're within radar line of sight, so that means. Airline of sight would be a hundred now. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're so right. Be 100. Because that, in yeah. other words, what they're saying is that this can be used for both surface and air. So yeah, so they got it. Do our ships have? Um, well, you gotta look if they're compatible. So it's an NRT. It doesn't freaking. Oh, it does say it right here. You see this right here? What? All of these have it. You see it right here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying the ships actually have the data links. I know, that's what we got to figure out. So yeah. We need to, okay, so. Okay, so we got... Uh, let me... I'll just leave this here. All right, so which ship? Let's check. Uh, I don't uh, think the Canaan does. The... Nanuchkas probably do. Nanuchka probably have the problem. We need to go look at the Russian lady. Those Nanuchka the one... one has a Titanic and a Yuspeka. So it has both should, that are it compatible. Should say, it should say data. I thought that they listed all the data. Links. It's L. L means data link, yeah. So Titan and a spec. So now we gotta go back to the dam. 86, page 86. Oh, okay. No, so it's not because it's... It's not. Spec A there at the, at the bottom, though. Monolith. No. So Titanic is only compatible with Monolith. It does say rally. that, though. Is that not it? Oh, Uspec is... Is that not the right one? But K25, we have K27. <laughs> I think. Yeah, but this is not. I don't think it's compatible. I think it would be have to be called out specifically these being compatible with it. Probably. For the purpose of the game, do you want to assume it does have it? Um. I think that's going to be a significant difference, though, right? Let me just. Yeah. Just kinda, it's it's going to be a significant them. difference because they they can fire now at you, <laughs> or at least when they get in within missile range, which I think they are or will be. Yeah, they are. Um. Oh wow. Okay. Of course, we're in this situation. How many, how, how many of the Japanese ships have their uh, air search radars on? The only One. the um. Amatsukaza. But that's not really it, right? It's the fact that they have active, they have active, um, they've been tracking these units for at least several tactical turns. So they probably have a good resolution. But, but there might be a range limitation to that too, right? Is there not a range limitation to that? Which one? No, okay, so he, is the Osmanog over the horizon, but then again, he's, that surface search for the Osmanog is, it's not, oh, over there. What is the what is the range? No, he already sees them all. Yeah, turn the sensors on. He sees them all. So he's been tracking so, them for three turns. So I think he's got a good resolution. So then over near real time he could give fair to anybody that is compatible with him. And I think out of any out of anybody it would probably be the Nanishkas that were compatible. So well, they're the only ones that can shoot the missiles anyways. Well, sure. Yeah. But it the, 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 so now we're down to the question of, <laughs> of course we are, right? Um, is the Titanic or the Uspec compatible with the Troynik? The Titanic is not. 
Okay, yes, that's very clear. Titan okay. it is only compatibilia. So, okay, so th but this is a real time link. So I wouldn't think it would. I just wouldn't think that this would be compatible. Well, what is this? It's only saying what with what it's compatible in the remarks, correct? Correct. Yeah. Uh, mm, I mean, uh, hang on a minute. The although Troynik, although Troynik has nothing in its remarks, so I'm not surely, sure. surely, in in order for it to be like compatible, both ships need to have the same data link. Not necessarily. No, that's not true. Right, like yeah. in other words, they uh, need to have com they need to have compatible data things. Yeah, like com they yeah. need to be compatible. It doesn't have to be the same. So that's why they call that out. So like, if the um, if the yeah, originator. So, 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 that, so that's that, that like, Titanit then would be compatible with Titanit or Monolith Mineral and Mineral M. Uh, whereas oh, Troynik Troynik would only be compatible with other Troynik, but not. Uh, uh. No, right. no, no, but, no, nothing like, else. but nothing else, yeah. Well, that, that doesn't make sense. Cool. Uh, so, you, no, yeah. it has to be, uh, it has to be right. reverse compatible. I mean, it, they can't talk to each other unless they can talk to each other. So, no, you oh, know, yeah. you know what? Be, uh, but, but you know, situation here that only e only the data link on the surface, ship. and then what, what's the nine five six and search platform uh, tactical data link these guys can talk to each other this guy can talk to this guy mm -hmm. yeah. this is just missing i think i think it, i think maybe. i think it's because i think it's because there were so many to list <laughs> to be yeah, yeah, maybe. This, this needs a diagram right yeah. but, but hang on a minute so then which which one does this what which one do the ships have again they have titan it and, and titan it which i don't hmm? think I don't think it's compatible. No, I don't think. I don't think it is. I don't, uh, I don't think it is. Uh, oops, sketch looks like um. How you That that looks the key A twenty five T's. That looks like an uh, um, a um, a marine thing. The surface warfare data link. Well, this is. Yeah. Right, you might be right because it only has an airline of sight. You see that? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that's like guide airdrop torpedoes and such. And then notice how it also. I think this is a very specific type, and it and that's yeah. why it's very yeah. specific. And that's why so it's compatible very specifically with those. But then it can give you range for these. Yeah, that's a this is, did, I think this did, is a call out. I think this is a very unique one right here, and it's how not. did it getting started or the quick. A quick reference, because they used the data link, didn't they, to shoot at the in the get started scenario? It was these ships, Nanchucks, chasing down right. blue. Hold on a second. I know what you're talking about. Sort of. Yeah. Red, 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 that blue, blue side used data link. Red just fire on ES. Oh, did it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to get too into that. But yeah, I know exactly okay. what you're talking about, but I don't think it is. All right. Um, I think the r ruling is no, but they can still radio it, which can give you yeah, a, a, a poor, a poor rating. Let's go look at that. So, in other words, yeah, I, I mean, there's something to say for. I mean, whatever. I'm just gonna let Red make their own decision on that. Literally, no. These, what were you gonna, these, what were you these, say? This guy has a good right now. Um, but I think if he radios in, he gets yeah. a best. Let, let's look at that. If you want me to look at it up, I'll look it up. Poor, probably. Yeah, I think it's poor. Yeah. It it should be poor at best because right, but that's a still yeah, a thirty percent. That would make sense because they 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 just radio in the data, right? Right, exactly. With the delay and just just over the phone. Just give me a second. I'll get to that. That won't get you very good. Oh, uh, where am I going? Six, right? Every time you think you know it, you don't remember where everything <laughs> is. All right, so um, let's see. Da 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 da. We're still, we're still talking about. I think it's chapter eight. No, we're still just trying to find a fire control oh. solution. Um, this is what I was looking for. 
it would be if if it's exclusively over radio, it would be a it would be a poor launch, a poor fire yeah, control I solution. Think so. That actually is mentioned in this sit wrap. I'm like ninety five percent sure that if you're like just kind of firing over radio, that that's what it is. Yeah, at best. Well, I will bet because you because it's, it's, sure it's not mm -hmm. it shouldn't be <laughs> burning only. No, it's but not. It it's a be it's a good. poor. Yeah. Why, why would they <laughs> make these ships this way? Like, what's the point of putting a data well, link? Well, the point, can't... the thing is that this is kind of an incongruent scenario, honestly, right? Like, yeah. It, but yeah. then again... Why, well, why don't you assume you've got the, the data link? To well, here's play the, the game. Thing. I mean, come on, we, we're seeing the mechanics work. It's no worries. Yeah. Let's shoot um, a poor. Let's shoot a poor. Let's do it. Shoot. Do it. Go for it. All right, yeah, but let's use the radio and shoot a Here's my question. Poor. What is its parent ship? Was its parent ship the... The cruiser oh, on the left there. It was the cruiser? Oh, okay. The Petropavlovsk. So that doesn't make any sense. And that was a... A, a which class wait, was wait, that? Wait, wait, wait. What class yeah, was that sure cruiser? Kashin? Yeah. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Let's go look at that real quick. Yeah, I'm looking it doesn't, at it doesn't make sense that you would have it linked to... The Kara one. class. Petro oh, it's a Kara? A Kara class, yeah. C A R A, yeah. K A K A R A, yeah. Come on. Uh, project Car. Here we go. Car class. What do we got for us? Uh, so it's got. Yeah, here it is, right here. Which is compatible. Yep. There you go. Yeah, like the... That's why. That's why. But then it has no missiles that can fire. So that makes a hell of a lot more sense, at least, right, everybody? <laughs> yep. <laughs> So, so, so then, what, 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 walk me through that again. So then, they, they, they can get, they can get a data link to the helicopter, yeah. To their own, yeah. to their own ship. Okay. But so, that so ship have doesn't seen... have. That ship only has storms, right? But that's weird, and I need to check this because yeah, but, but, yeah, the storm to surface a surface to air missiles, so yeah. Right, but it's pretty Any powerful. Any of those be used in um, anti-surface work? Yes, you can. In an anti-surface. No, but um, you know what, what I need yeah, to it's check? Got, look at that right there. It's, it's, it's got 25 I need back damage. because they... It's a pretty powerful surface. It's a medium powerful. Also it's not... Storm, hang on. The thing right is, here. this is a... I think this is an AS, ASW cruiser. It's not supposed to be an ASUW. Right. But That's here, why. Here's, here's a thing, and I need to check yeah, it. Okay, because no, hang because on, hang it on. looks <laughs> like it... Mm, misses one of the weapon systems because right, so Kara let's, used so let's at least let's let's go ahead and fire some missiles the, <laughs> right the are OSA we agreeing M, on that OSA, <laughs> yep the osa m and the storm are both command guidance which means that you can fire them at uh you should be able to fire them at uh surface ships you can, yeah. Yep. I think you can, uh, though, yeah, though, uh, so, yeah but yeah. For the, with some very i, I need to check will rules uh, on attacking surface ships with stamps, but I don't know if they carry heal over, but they, they will have very low chance to hit, from what I remember. I just have to move. Alright, so let's shoot. Quick. Just give me a second, I just gotta move upstairs. Um, hold on, I've been, I've been tasked with getting out of this room. <laughs> Which means my significant <laughs> other says, get the hell out. Alright. A wise man. Oh, things I, were about, I, things, I will plates were about later. to get thrown. <laughs> <laughs> Three to each of the left four ships, because we have 12 missiles total. Are you going to do it in a salvo, or are you going to try to spread it out so you can get your 30% on each of those? You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm saying 30% on... Oh, you mean like each one? Well, if you salvo it, it goes in on the same yeah. solution, right? Okay. Later, guys, I think I can explain you why the K27 has this data link. Yeah, we can do it after or put it in the chat. So. Alright, I am now Done. repositioned. Alright, so who's firing what, where? The patrol vessel on the left. This one? Yep. Let's just fire one at each. Just to keep it simple, then we'll have two left over. We'll have the one. I'm sorry, one at each what? Uh, the left four. Yeah, those four. So one at each. So they have six missiles. You're planning. There's only two at each. There's only two plots here. That's. What, there's only two two contacts here. Or total oh, contacts there. You want all? 
you want this too? Nope. On the left there, there's four ships. Okay. Right. Why are you saying yeah. six? <laughs> That's what's throwing me off. No, we have six missiles total. We're only shooting four of them. Ah, there you go. Thank you. Okay. All right, so we're gonna plan it now. These very low, are, are these uh, sea skimmers or are they just lows? Now they're low crews. Yeah. They're, they're, they're supersonic as well, though, aren't they? Mm, no, they're only 594. Oh, yeah, yeah uh, okay, yeah, mix them up with some. some you said um, 594. And yep. We're going to go at 2019. Hmm, I don't know if that's it's probably 202 for that. And it's a skimmer. Was it 50? No, it's a low. It's a low cruise. So we'll just say even like, what is the minimum of the low? Isn't very low start at 500? I don't know. I think that's what, n not necessarily. Th those those altitudes on that chart are, so it's going to take at least one tactical. So, all right. It's an interesting question. Once our one ship with the Ursher Trader on detects the missiles, how long do, does it need to roll in the reaction table in order to tell the other ships that, hey, there's there's missiles on the way, you should turn on well, your it radars? Needs to, it needs to to be able to detect it, I think I think it, we'll, we'll we'll do that here in a moment. Sorry. Yeah, uh, um, zero to two thousand is low, by the way. Just so you ref for reference, zero to two thousand is low. Okay, hold on a second. We're in that situation where I can't. Okay. So we're doing individual firing at each of these. Well, Peter, instead of doing it this way, each miss the missile you've already made export it, and then re-import copies of it. You can do that. So just click on it. Yeah. yeah. A second. Yep. Hold on. And then... Units, export unit. Save it here. What the heck is as the, the name missile. Of this missile? What is the type P120. Of missile? Let's make sure I'm doing it in the right spot. Right. And now you can import it. Yeah. And you'll have more copies there. And you can. And it should have kept its. Um... Should have kept that. It didn't, yeah. It didn't keep the course or anything. All right, so. 201.9. It's kind of. Yeah. The only thing it kept was the speed. All right, so that's fine. Um, it will help a little bit here. So then we need to point that at the. That's why I did this for bombs earlier. It was really nice. And why did that not? Oh, I put it over there. That's weird. Wait a minute. Can you just right-click to move it? I don't think I can. Oh, really? Because it's beyond turn one. All right. Um, damn. Okay, let's just delete that. Let's just do it the old-fashioned way. It's easier. Okay, so this is still going towards the other one, which was 217. Javier. It was 594. He's typing right. it in. Yeah, so, so say that again. Do you want to do the math for this hitting? So it's all figured Whoa. out already? What? Uh, although that depends, uh, what the, the the placement chance or just like the score hit? The the score, the reaction table, all that stuff. Start figuring that out for blue. Oh, yes. <laughs> and maybe walk your team through it so that like the new players can understand what you're doing. Okay. Uh, cartoon book up because that is interesting. Yeah, something's not. So... God bless America. Uh, pain in the butt. I can't tell which damn missile it's highlighting because we're doing too many, too many at the same time here. So, because I can't tell. Uh, remind me which which ship is the one with the radar on? What what's it called again? Blue team. Uh, I'm at Sakazi. Matsukazi. I can't. I I can't wrap my head around the uh, 
the, the Japanese names. Okay, so let's have let's a look go. at this beautiful Amatsukase. Mm. Action, reaction. And the speed of these yes. was 594, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. But yeah, uh, Javi, if you walk Gron and Ken through, because I don't think they've ever done this before, just to show them like what reaction is. Yeah, that's fine. So, uh, we find the Amatsukase. Are you looking at the data sheet of the Amatsukase? Yeah, uh, there we go. Okay, got it. Right. So, Amatsukase is a has a combat system that is that has a generation three semi-automatic combat system, right? So I think I might have found a bug. Look at this. Oh. Like, I'm on this missile, right? It says course 202, and it says the course of these targets course 202. Why the hell is it? Oh, uh, maybe, maybe that's... Rounding error? Oh, man. Why don't you use waypoints and just put them on top of the ship so it'll do it that way? Uh, I don't... Oh, uh, maybe I just totally screwed it up. Okay. It's these 217 ones I need to fix. This is a pain. It's a real pain to try to do multiple missiles going in different directions. <laughs> it's just, it's just, yeah, it's real. Yeah. Um. I suppose. Yeah. Uh, when I when I say when I see those turn up in um turn up in the computer game, whatever, I call it the conga line of death. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of what it is. Yeah. Ah, uh, like the harp, like the tomahawks we shot during the last play by mail. I think. I think. We got it roughly. It's gonna have to be. It's it's about as close as I'm gonna get it. <clears throat> All so right. Javier, you were saying third generation semi-automatic. Yeah, so we're in third generation semi-automatic, which means that the way it works is your ship detects the missiles with its radar, um, but it cannot uh, it cannot basically engage them straight away. Because it, it you, you your system basically has to figure out okay that's a missile and then it needs to like figure out the the range and to figure out the the speed it's the draw of the fire control solution and then it needs to basically fire so there is a delay from you detecting it to you actually being able to right uh, yeah you've got to look up the target um, swing the um, swing, um, make sure the missiles are loaded and swing them back if if it's um not a vertical launch system where I don't think it is, uh, you've got to swing the missile around to point to the right direction. Yeah, exactly. It all takes time. So, with a third, so uh, increments, for every increment is 30 seconds, right? So, the base delay for a third generation combat system, which is what we have in the Amatsukase, is three. So, that is one and a half minutes uh, uh, of delay before you detecting it to you actually being able to start shooting. However, you have to roll randomly to modify the roll. So it's on page four eight, uh, eight four of Harpoon. Uh -huh. Then if somebody gives me a two d six roll, then that'll modify the the best the base delay. Dan, look at red chat, please. Um, I don't know how to roll a dice, Javier, unfortunately. Okay, so what you do is in the uh, where's the the sake? There we go. So what you do is you type. Um, let me see if I can find it. What's the code to type? What's the code again? It's uh, um, exclamation. It's, like, it's an exclamation mark, and then the how many dice in the yeah, dice type? Yeah. So yeah. If you look in the. Uh, the sake on the rocks, right? I've typed uh, uh, exclamation mark D6, and that rolls a D6. So if somebody rolls two D6, ah, you just, just do that. Just do that twice. Okay. Does it work? Or if you do two D6, yes, it does. If you do, it. okay, yeah. So you can just do your yeah, exclamation mark two D6. Okay. Dice, or are you gonna um, have it? No, 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 no. You, you, you. You, you you roll it. Somebody roll it. This is like for for thingy. I mean, unless you want to take it, it's it's perfectly average. Seven. Oh no, that's awful. 
What was it? Did you get? Uh, no, that's 11. good actually. That no, eleven oh. is good. So eleven, uh, eleven, well, I say is good. Yeah. So eleven means no extra delay on right, on the yeah. system. Extremely lucky oh, for that one that. unit, so, though, right? For that one missile. Yeah. So you got to do that for all four of them, right? Uh, no. No, only you, one has radar on. Yeah. So you, yeah, you, you would do it as soon as you, right. as, as long as you see the missiles, basically. <laughs> Okay, so let's 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 step back again. All right, so mm -hmm. we need to look at. Okay, let's just open this up. So the the one that does have it on, what are the ranges? What is the detection range for the sensor? Like when we're it's AS, it's gonna immediately. It's a max range one twenty two, so it's almost immediate. It would immediately detect it. At least the detection range is immediate. But is it a small missile or very small? Oh, you're right. Yeah, I think it's a medium, isn't it? A medium missile, think. Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty... small. It's a small it's, signature. Yeah. Uh, is um is that is that um in the um, firing arc for the um for the um SM1? That's a good point as well. It's not. So I've just I've just posted the ship bucket, the image of um ship bucket of the thing, and it, and it looks like the um the SM launch SM1 launch is at the back. It's just a rear. Yeah. Rear, yeah. But, but it will detect it first, it will and then it will be able it, to gonna... turn. Yeah, yeah it's going to it's, so yeah, it's turn. So I just want to, I will point that out. out. Thank you for pointing that out to them, because when they'll detect it immediately, and then I'm assuming they would turn <laughs> turn to bear. Yep, yeah, okay. yeah, be, yeah, that's right. They need to turn to bear, um, turn to bear. That's one, that's one, that's always one of the things you've got, yeah. you want to get. And also, but you want to bring also bring. But what is the AS bring. versus small? Or did we already do that? Is that what that is? For SPS twenty nine. Give me one second. I think it's right here. Yeah, that was the small. You said. What's the radar was... horizon from small to low? Like the... sixty or something like that. Oh, so it wouldn't immediately see it then, would it? No. It's beyond the radar. Oh. No, it would. It's within. But this is the physical range. Then we got. Yeah, I'm saying, the, are we beyond radar horizon? Radar oh. range, which is the the originator is small, correct? Oh. Yeah, to low. To a low, which is sixty. So the capability of the radar. So why was? How did we pick up the aircraft? Or were we in sixty before? Yeah, we were within sixty. So it's 60, but we're not that much further. What the hell happened here? Yeah, they're, it's fine. They would immediately pick oh, it up because like, they're within so 60. Neutral? How did I get a neutral in here? What is that? What the hell? I don't know what happened here. I, I could have sworn all these were already set properly to. Missile. And I don't know what happened there. That's kind of weird. Okay. I think we're ready to rock. No, what? Okay. <laughs> what did I, what happened there? And now the the degree changed, correct? I'm I'm not I'm not going crazy here, right? These were all pointed. <laughs> these were all pointed directly at them. Okay. What's the missile that's being fired? T one twenty. Okay, hold on. Just, just bear with me because there's just trying to do multiple things without yeah. doing it as a solve, which is driving me crazy here. So Grom is set the way it needs to be set. This guy is set to two o two. Okay. This guy. I don't know what the hell happened here. What in the world? <clears throat> Which one is pointed weird? There's one that's still sitting pointing at like 120 or something. Or two, there's 202. What is that one? Ah, it's it's crazy because when you like you're you're right clicking. Todd, 
never again four missiles at the same time. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is absolutely driving me nuts. Okay, so hold on. There's the patrol boat. Right click again. There's the one. He's going 202. That's fine. Here's the one I need to modify. Don't know how we got one that ended up as. This was all set before. Something's still not right. <laughs> God, y'all. Okay, Grom. Let's, I'm doing it with right clicks because if you don't do it with right clicks, you're not going to be able to edit it. So there's the Grom. Looks fine. There's that one. There's that one. There's that one. There's that one. I think we got an extra one in there. There we go. Okay. We'll find out soon enough. All right. Um, we're ready to move. This guy will detect up to 60 nautical miles, though, right? So it's immediate. Yeah. Well, you're missing four missiles still. The other one shoots two. <laughs> okay, hold on. hold on a second. Okay, I'm totally lost. This ship is firing four missiles, correct? Yeah, and so is the other patrol vessel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's dead reckoning over the island. I mean, that that's the only thing I would debate on that. Um, all right, but no. Okay, so he's bearing, basically by radio bearing. And it's a low altitude. Can those, can those missiles fire... Higher than I mean, um, they they are are they nap yeah. of Earth detecting because they'll run right into this island. No, they're low cruise. So that's anywhere from zero to two thousand meters. And that but are you able to set less... it? I don't know. So yeah. only the rules get that granular. Okay. Because basically, you got to bite um, an island right in front of you. I don't think you can. But wait, do, we don't shoot from the unit that. The white lines extend from. This is firing four missiles. Yeah. But what we're saying is that these are this yeah, one's so going to fire so four more. I don't think the P120 is low, and three, which means it shouldn't be able to go any higher than low. Yeah. Right. But I, I don't know. If... I I don't know. They are. Uh, I I don't know what altitude uh, keeping equipment they have, but I don't think you can shoot over any land with them. <laughs> Probably. Other than Mary, old but all right, we they, won't shoot. We won't shoot them though until they get around. It's just not covered in the rules. Yeah, it's not. No one try to do do it. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Let's well, four then. Yeah, let's do. This. All right. Um. So it's an immediate detection. But then it's an, it's another thir it's three thirty second increments. Is that correct? Yeah, that's what we that wrote. was the default. So, so yeah. minutes are zero. Let's go to. We're gonna do thirty second increments, right? So we're gonna do three three of these increments, correct? Mm -hmm. Everybody agrees. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna do one, two, three. This is where it's detected. Okay. Physically. This is this is where the this is where the fun begins because now at this point they can tell every other ship that there's missiles in the air and every other ship can then turn on their radars as well, which means we need to now roll for every other ship. Would it be here that they could tell them or at the end of this? This was um, the, this was tactical the turn. This was uh, they're the, detecting yeah, it at that point. So right, the, that one ship is. I'm saying, but can they actually tell the other ships until the next tactical turn where well, we can plot? They, they, well, they, they might be screaming "vampire, vampire, <laughs> vampire" down the radio, and that's <laughs> kind of that yes. pretty, people learn that pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, the, this is this is the thing. I think <laughs> they scream "vampire, vampire" <laughs> in the detection phase of this turn, and in the plotting, the ships that heard that can. 
plot to switch on radar. And then they would detect in the plot phase of the immediate after. after. I think they would detect and it And then here. they will detect at the end of the next turn. I think that's. I how, think that's how, long, how long does it? How long does it get? That, how long does it take to power up a radar? Set the radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, and I'd be all integrating to the system, but sometimes you have to take a minute or two's turn, warm things up. Fair <laughs> enough. Well, old, old, old 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 okay, so are we foul. saying then? Are we saying then that they could not turn their stuff on until six thirty-six? Yeah, that, because because if you were playing yeah. this in three-minute tactical turns, you wouldn't yeah, be able to give it orders to. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Right. So basically, they're going to get to about here, and at that point. Let's just say, let's say at that point you got three more. I think at most you're going to get a point blank attempt, but we'll, let's let's yeah. move forward. All right, so we're at yeah, the, we're, okay. so we're so, at okay, the so detection we're, phase. How 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 far how far are we now from the missiles? Because it's been three tactical turns, so now we can start firing. So what's the distance to the missiles? You're right now. You're at twenty seven point five. Okay, what's the range of the? We said what? The ship. This ship here is the one that has is detecting all of those. I get to me. I'm I'm, I'm at Tsukasa, Sorry. Yeah, he cram five. Okay, seventeen point five. Right. So seventeen point five. Do you want me to put a marker on this one? Hold on. As a matter of fact, this needs to this needs to bear, doesn't it as well? No, no, can't yet. I wouldn't have plotted its movement. Um, Six thirty-six. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. So just as a further point on the on whole radar, like the older radars, basically basically using valves and map a bit. So I can tell our really old TVs, you had to turn them on, they had to, mm -hmm. have to wait a minute or two yeah. for warm up. And yeah, so the assumption war. is that they have to do it within the tactical. I think that was an appropriate yeah. judgment. So do, yeah, so during the, um, during the Vietnam War, um, uh, the um, basically... The North Vietnamese kept having their miss SA two, so yeah, seventy which is the stuff that the um the Soviet ships have. Well, some some of the Soviet ships have. So they turned their things on. By the time they they've turned their finger turned on the Americans and left. Right. They dropped the, they dropped their bombs and left, which uh, they they eventually worked out a way to do a dummy load system. radar running but not actually transmitting. Yeah, okay. All right, so so just so we don't okay, so we're still within we're still uh, within missile time here, so we're not even. Yeah. How again, how long would it, how long does it not take for the ship to turn to get its uh, SSM in range in in like you know I within would, its time? I would hope within uh, um, we can in in the yeah. arc. Yeah, I would hope within the thirty second increment. We'll we'll, we'll yeah, you we'll take you'd, a, you'd be we'll look at that yeah, chapter be, here. In a yeah, second. you you be holding it pretty pretty fast. Um, let me have a look. So yeah, you be holding a pretty 30, fast speed in any event. Knots, yeah. What it's it's basically checking what's what's the advance. Correct. Of this size of ship. If anybody wants if to read up on that before while we think about this other stuff, all right. Um, I'm not, I'm so not, we did the uh, we did the detection range. Yep. We did the detection marker as well. We did we had done the reaction time and there's no additional. So now we're in the intercept checks, which is at the 17.5 mark here. So we're not going to be able to fire until at least that range. But you get that range plus some, don't you? Don't, isn't there? You like double a, it because they're closing. Uh, actually, isn't, isn't the, the missile is between 500 and 2,000 uh, knots of speed. Mm -hmm. Then you multiply it by 1.5 in this instance. Yeah, for F4. Correct. Are you sure? Because yeah. it's closing, isn't it? Yes, yeah, but but it. it's it's doubled if it's closing with two thousand or more. Uh -huh. That's. I think the advance is two hundred with not, a speed loss of two. That, that's not the one you. Uh, do, do you have uh, Peter the my, my flow chart for engage some engage? Oh, you're right. It is one point five. It's right it's, there. It's yep. it's right He's right. Uh, which uh, which one is it? Which like thingy? Oh, that's on page 80, left column. Joins page 80. On the harpoon rules. Yeah, but like, like, like what do you mean by page 80? 8 oh, 8-1. 8-1. If you have a PDF yeah. and you just type yeah. in 80, it's easier. 
I fair enough, it does one. Yeah, that's bottom of the left corner, right there. If the converging target speed yeah, is yeah, 501. Yeah, yep. yeah. 1.5. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, the F pull. So, so we're, what we were saying, 17.5 times. Is that what we're doing? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. so. So then, uh, do we assume that you can turn the ship around in 30 seconds? I believe you can, yeah, for plotted so movements. Are we that close? You're within the next... Ship turning distance, your size, Class C. Mm-hmm. It's uh, right. here, I believe. Yeah, it's, it's going to be okay. Alright, so we're basically gonna just Yeah, rotating it for the okay. Uh probably gets it about what, three twenty, three thirty. How much do you think it'll get within that increment? Like that, I think. Is that reasonable? Yeah. They they can turn up to forty five degrees, so right. it would be enough. Yeah. All right. To uncover mm -hmm. the other. But they wouldn't have turned yet. Yes. Correct. So they're still going on there with whatever their previous heading was. It's fourteen point five. They do they, do they need to wait? Three minute tactical turn to be able to change course. Could they not do it now? Logically, yes. Game rules wise, no. Because well, there's yeah, no. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, sanity wise, you gotta, you gotta stick to the tacticals. Yeah. Yeah. You, and unfortunately, you I mean, it, it, it hurts. Tactical. It hurts both sides the same way. So. Yeah. At the at the right. moment, they um, at the moment they've got bigger. They've got more important things to focus <laughs> on. Right, all right. So let me think here. I think that's right. And then so he's gonna go one more increment and then turn right. But, but up to, don't we have to figure out how many firings we get at this point too? Uh, yeah, but yeah, but we need we need we need to know we need to know at which point at which distance they are going to be able to. Act. I think now it they would be the next increment, map. correct? Okay, so then okay, so so if it's in it, so then do one one more increment. And well, I think that's okay. Right. So what's the distance now from the target? If this is where they can start yes, firing? Yes, I think they can start firing now. Are you, so that, you, well, 20, it's not start firing yet, but this is the F pull to fire it. Yes. Okay, so if it's 22 nautical mile, it's a table against low, uh, and they're at 22, so that's medium one. Why am I looking at this? It's a third generation uh, system, so you get two shots at medium, two shots at short, and one shot at... But wait, at, uh, did we roll for reaction? Yeah, you gotta, don't you have to roll for... Yeah, 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 yeah for, we did. Yeah. Ah, okay, sorry. Hold on, resolution. Sorry. Yeah, I missed it. <laughs> There's a, you only have a 30% chance of doing this, right? You need to be on target. What do, we, what do you mean? No, he's talking to us for the red oh, missiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So a, you still eight. need to roll a D10 to make sure you're on target. We rolled an 8 D10 on accident, so just take the first four rolls, because we thought we were shooting 8 missiles. <laughs> right yeah. there. Here, you mean? Um, what? It's, yeah. It's, it's per salvo. You roll once per salvo, yeah, not per individual per... missile. Yeah, so... Well, Exactly. These are individual. Oh, so then it's a. Th well, these are individual three, firings. So... Yeah, they're not. They're not solos, right? These are individual. I, yeah, firings. you, you, it, 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 it doesn't matter as long. Control solution. Yes, because you, it's then, then you roll ones. Wait, you we're not though, because it's four separate targets yeah, that each have their targets. own fire control solution. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. So you, so, so the four rolls. For yeah, so three, solo. one, one, ten. Yeah, so the fourth, the first three destroyers will have one that makes it, and this one, and the fourth one right, misses. Yeah, and that just goes left to right. Well, we need to determine okay. where it goes, right? Because it could hit. The no, I'm saying like that's the numbers are assigned left to right. Yeah. So he's on target. Yeah. This this one that's coming towards this ship, which is probably the only one we can do within the time I have. Um, <laughs> so, um, let's see. All right, where were we? So they're gonna turn now, right? No, they still got two damn increments. Okay. 
which range so, are we yeah. at right now? We're in the medium, and they can do two intercepts at this point. Yeah, but if if the, if it's not within firing angle, then we right. can't okay. fire. So, so we just have so to wait till least, they can. There's at least in. one more, right? So let's do one more yeah. at least. Okay, now we turn. No, no it's not thirty-six don't. yet. So now, after this turn, but there, by turn turning. you say because because okay. the rules say so that you. You can yep. actually fire at one at least. Yeah, now you can do your movements and everyone can turn their radars on. This is when the rules let you. Well, for them, I would that. say they're going to fire on the one that's coming at them, not, not that one, right? Uh, they would be well, more... they, they'd have to fire on, the, on, on that one first, simply because uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's... Oh, no, yeah, because they turn in now, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah, yeah, now everybody can turn their radar on and start turning to evade or... Yeah. So, okay, I, so and I think the other ones are all and plot and uh, basically they can plot now to turn on the radar and okay. to turn and I believe the radar because the radar will do detection at the end of this tactical turn if we go with tactical yeah, turns. So the, the other ships will not be able to fire their missiles because they're not going to make it on reaction. I don't think right. so. Yeah, exactly. But, so okay, so then missiles. Then what? What is the distance now from the ship? From this one. Yeah, they're at eleven point eight. Again, eleven point eight nautical miles. Okay, from... so eleven point eight. Which band is it? Uh, that's that's short intercept band against a low moving target for a say so low low altitude target, and it's transonic. It gets two attack two two attacks two attempts. Sorry, at short range and okay. one attempt at point blank range. Okay, let's do this with the. Change. And then let me find the let, let me find the thing. For combat system, uh, where's combat? Where's where's combat? Uh, channels. Let's find channels. Hang on. And it gets two at short and one at that. Um, okay, so we're doing part, the two there short. There we go. It's a third generation. Is it? It's a third generation. So it has two channels. How many fire? How many um, directors does it have? Hang on. Which one are we using? We're using. Okay. Um, right. So it's a Matsukaze. It's got two directors, and each director can. So each director can engage one missile, and it's firing two missiles per each... missile it's engaging, right? Right. It so it's two added. It, it, yeah, so, yeah, so it essentially gets to engage four missiles at, in total at short range. And right. one minute. Right. But what's the percentage? Oh, sorry. At, at point. Each missile is being engaged with two uh, SSMs. Yes, exactly. So I'm just trying to find the um, percent chance here, though, right? What's so the you're at the wrong table. Ah, you you need to here? open some attack table. It's going to be if it, it's if it's four missiles, it's going to be engaging all the, of them. This is the one I. That's the one I was. The same using. time, isn't it? No, you don't have. No, you. I, I don't think, Peter, you have the one you need. Let, let's let. Rome. Give, give me a second. Yeah. Pop me the URL to mm. your thing, and put it in the Saki on the rocks. Yeah, I put it in the red. Sorry. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I will put it. Where is? Where is our? Why do I not have this one? That's weird. Tunnel for er everybody. We don't have all text tunnel, right? Yeah, we do. It's the main one. We do. Yeah. Oh, the, the rocks one. game one. Yeah, okay. Oh, sorry. Here, have you? Yeah, Here I got you go. it. I got it. Alright, so let's edit that. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. not yeah. what I wanted. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's, that's an interesting. Yeah, there, there you go. Sure. That, that'll, that'll do it. Right. <laughs> uh, what? Just give me a second. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> I'm bemused. If nothing what else. Is it? Son of a gun. Those flowcharts are superb, Tom. To be honest, yeah, that, that is yeah. true. Uh, do you want me to? You want me to do it the old-fashioned way? 
what what do you mean by the old fashioned way? Right, here we like, go. Like, I, 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 I've got it in front of me in the rule book. I can just. Oh, no, you've got it there. That's fine. No. All right, so what we got here? What do we got? The missile ATA rating? Is it 2.5? Uh, 2.5. Uh, hey, I think I'm misunderstanding. Why are you shooting eight Sams? Okay, so uh, the, so the, 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 the so yeah, so there's two directors, right? And each okay. director, each director. Okay, so the ship gets two gets two attempts at firing at medium range. Sorry, at short range. Yeah. One attempt to fire at in blank range, right? Now the ship has two directors. Each director can essentially engage one missile, right? So because it gets to fire twice at short range, essentially it gets to engage two missiles and then it gets to engage two missiles again, right? Okay, thank you. That's however, all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. However, I mean, I however SSMs fire in pairs. Well, you can fire any missile in pairs, but basically the SSM is designed to fire in pairs. And so the, the okay, let's, let's go fire this. control directors can fire can fire them in pairs, basically. So Sweet. each time it's engaging yeah. a missile, you're engaging with two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the sat the the sat the set yeah the in case one one mal well, one malfunctions anyways it maximizes your chance of a hit. So also many of the SAM systems of that that period had uh, basically two arms, two arm launchers. Some had some had more. The missile but, ATA is one point five, Peter, to answer your question. How did you find it? That's good. Bloody hell. Yeah, you basically you basically fire off um you basically fire um at one point what's it um fire both arms off and tilt it back up and have the next pair of missiles come into the door, off out of the magazine All right. then fire those off again. I'm going to say it one more time. The ATA rating was what? 1.5. Okay, and now the combat system modifier? Uh, combat system modifier, it's at 3, so 0. Okay, now the target evading, no, right? No, no. That's okay, so no. There's, and there's, what about the sure this one? This is pretty much zero no matter what for this, right? Yeah. All right, now we're looking uh, at the <clears throat> countermeasures for the ship itself. The... No, 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 no. No, this, no this is not a countermeasure. Yeah, those are the countermeasures. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. yeah, 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 yeah. those are the countermeasures for the... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I was... Aircraft the would employ yeah. if you attack yeah. aircraft, yeah. The bearing rate yeah. modifier is just zero. It would be zero, yeah. It's oh, coming right zero, on them. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to have to do this one again in a minute for the missile that's engaging that's... Uh, the ship? For... We'll do it in steps, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. Um... Okay, no modifier here. Zero, because we're at short. Okay, and then target size is... Very small, zero. it's zero. zero. No, it's wait, small. wait, hang on, yeah. is, isn't it very small for the missile? No, it's small, it's not. It's small. Not, it's not very This big. missile is Trigger. very big. All right, yeah. that's, 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 that's big. <laughs> target speed was sub, or transonic, right? Yep. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then... Target is sea skimming. Um, is nope. the SAM no? Because it, it's flying at low, right? Yeah, so yeah it's slow cruise. Skimming. So this is yeah, just so it's not sea skimming at all. So we're at 1.5, right? Yeah, we are at 1.5 apparently. So with yeah. two missiles, it's 70 percent chance of knocking it out. So, so, yeah. Who wants to roll that for blue? Maybe Javi, you want to roll it? Yeah, right. I'll do Ken, it. Ken can roll it. Yeah, oh. you need to do it. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a 1D100, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Exclamation mark, D100. No! Ah! No! <laughs> 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 okay, and, 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 oh. and, and, now, and now for the other one? Yeah, you get another attempt. Yeah. Wait, why does he get two attempts at it? Because he's got, uh, he's got two... Too small. It's got two, too small. It's got two, it's got, okay, it's got so he's not going to shoot at any of the other missiles, that right? No, no he's no, taking no, care no, of the ones no, that are coming yeah. right at him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so, he doesn't okay, get so he... two attempts, but there's two missiles coming at him, so he's engaged. So the second, the oh, second. Oh, hang on, hang on. oh yeah. No, no. The second Sam intercept. No, no. Hang, the... on, hang on, Go back. Go back. That's my bad. Is is only one missile is coming at him? Yeah, the other two missiles are going at the other one. Well, each, okay. each, each, yeah, but he's, he's, he's defending himself. Okay, okay yeah, but he, he, 
can only he can't wait and then fire again. So what's happening then is well, hold on. He rolls. No. There's he one missile. Four. There's one, one missile, missile there, yeah. coming at him. He has two chances yeah. at that same inbound salvo. Uh, so... Yes, yes, but hang on. But he's got two fire control directors, right? right. So in the first, so we're, we get three fire fire attempts, right? Yeah, the yeah, first yeah. fire attempt, he's missed the missile coming at him, uh, and then he gets a 52 on the missile going against the other destroyers. Why would he even be bothering with that? Uh, well, he, I, I, he... I was, I was, if, if, if it's, if it's, if it's, I assume he's firing two missiles at a single time. I would think target. he's... I think no, it, no, no. No, so, so you get three fire attempts, right? It's got two directors. So in the first fire attempt, it can engage two different missiles. Yeah, yes. Pavi's okay. right. The, the, there's three fire phases. So in the first phase, we're still in the first phase. You get to engage two different missiles. Oh, so the director can oh. only the director can only go against a single target. It doesn't go against the right. same target multiple times. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, so, you can't converge so, both directors. So the it's same. it's gonna get. So it's only gonna have a point blank attempt now. No, yeah, no, because yeah. no, because we have we, we've got two short attempts and one point blank attempt. So we've missed in the first short attempt. Shh, now we get a sure. second short attempt. Right, that's then what I was saying. Did. And he got a 52. Yeah. So I don't, oh, we just went I mean, around yeah, in circles. Yeah, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Down. You shot it down. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. It yeah. shot down, yeah. Boom. Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah, then we, yeah then, okay. then we do the, then we do the other, the other two. So is the other one still going after the other like, ship, really? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if I understood you correctly, because you said that you, you cannot attack with both directors, the same missile. Yeah, so... so that no, but well, you, but you you're, 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 it's, it's about your fire, isn't it? It's about the rate of fire is um the issue, is the issue. You the, having two different uh, two different targets. You yes, only but you fire, can only, yeah, but you the can rate, point the them at the same target. Also, yeah, but you, you only only fire one one pair of missiles at a time in a single launcher. Single launcher. Uh, okay. Yeah, single launcher, and that's um from the system. So this. So this remaining missile is coming towards the other ship. Yeah, so we're, yes. yeah, so we're down okay. one missile. We're down, in any event, we've downed one missile. There's one missile coming towards it's us. It's protected right. itself. He, we're, we're, we're talking it's got two directors, but let me just double check. Does it have... Where are the two directors mounted? That's important to know. Because it might only be able to bring one... Oh, they'd, be mounted, they'd be mounted on the si um, on or near the system itself. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not yeah, always yeah. true, but... Yeah. Oh, well, there's two, there's two, there's two, there's two big, uh, I don't know, radar dishes that right. uh, they're they're, they're, yeah, they're yeah. Well, here's the thing, they're though. Basically, there. the one that the one that took it out is the second short attempt, no matter what. So I mean, yeah, it's just like, exactly. So then, yeah. yeah so then now, now we need to now we need to go from the top. Now we need to go from the top against the missiles that are their destroyers. So in, so first attempt, second attempt. Well, and then, are they uh, even on? They turned their. This is the beginning of that tactical. So they just turned their. No, 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 their... no, 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 not that. I mean, I mean the our, our, the, the Amatsukase, right? Okay. It's only one missile was coming at it. So what, right. with okay. its first so... director, it's engaging that missile. But with its second director, it can engage the missiles going up against the okay. Asaguma. All right. So it's gonna yep, roll yes. twice again, right? In short range. Yes. Yeah. So just do yeah, two of these twice. Short range. Just two of the, yeah. do two of these again. It will, but not, but not, hang on, not yet, because the missile is uh, is not converging, so you get a. Uh, it's get a converging. Point. I mean, they're pretty much next to each other. Yeah. Yeah. The, the ships so. are close enough that the. Oh yeah, 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 enough. yeah. Sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. If yeah, they were going against this one, looking, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about TN one hundred three. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Bad. Yeah. So then, yeah. So roll it the same twice. Is Steve going? To, Steven, you going to do that? So what, roll again. Yeah, yeah roll two D one hundreds. Roll it twice. Two D one hundreds. Okay, um, here we go. Um, two D one hundreds coming right up. Mm. Yeah. Yep. So black the second, the second one. The second one got it. The second interception. Right, so got it. Yeah. Now so it gets. It gets a second. Now it gets one last attempt. Because we roll for three against this that one. missile. Which is yeah, funny. but it's gonna be it gets just yeah, just the one, and it's going to be so diverging. Actually, if will that missile go into point blank? It won't. Range then? I don't think so. I no, don't think no, it, no. It, it, no, it never gets that so close. So these ships are gonna get hit. To, no, but so no, so so it gets so basically 
the the um the ship gets three fire attempts right so, yeah. so, it, it, that, yes. yeah, yeah. So, base. So, if you advance turn, so advance time once. Okay. Now we're in the second one. Now advance it again. It's gonna keep turning, Peter, because of uh, the waypoints. Yeah, waypoint That's why. Fine. It's it's still within the arc. Yeah. Anyway. Advance it again. All right. Okay. So now it gets to attack one last time before that missile. Hits. Is that point yeah. blank though? Is that point blank? Mm -hmm. Is 7.9. Oh, no. 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 uh, there's a possible. Well, oh, no, yeah, now, so, in the meantime, though, these guys fired up, right? Yeah, I mean, those guys will fire, but if they can, if they can, yeah. I, I think, think also, most, there's also, there's think also I'm, the three, yeah, there's also the three second roll involved, but I don't know if that's the. But... Well, you're right. You're right. Up. I don't think it would. I think these guys are going to get hit. You're right. Well, uh, one of the... uh, hang on, the, 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 Amatsukase, the Amatsukase gets to make one shot first. But it can't be. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it would do. Um, it Plus, might. one of those missiles did fail its placement roll, so one of them's going to have to... Of those two... We, should, we actually should uh, deviate their course halfway to the target. You're correct. Yeah, but the, yeah, at, at, this, at this point we know... At this point, we know like the you don't need to actually engage it. No, but it could be it could deviate and go after either of the left two destroyers or the right two destroyers. That is true, actually. Yeah. All right, right there. Create yes. a new missile. Can yeah. deviate to the first group or go over the ocean. This point though what what is the deviation you're really quiet peter by the way you might move the mic closer oh, i'm sorry about that all right um okay. what is the degree deviation here i can't remember how to D6 do that six plus something hold on or D6 first, first i believe you roll i checked this you roll one you roll d6 and one two three is i believe left and all right i'll do that i'll just do that here in the Hold on, let me uh, do it. I'm gonna do yes. it in the open. Hold on a second. Do we have the darn? You roll, first you roll d6 and one two three is the oh, and four two six is deviation to the left. Yep. All right. I'm rolling in this. Okay. So I did three for the first roll. What does that give me? Uh, right. It's it's yes. It's devi it deviates to the right. Okay. So we're going. No. Nope. Uh, yeah. Distraction, but how many degrees? Yeah. Uh, d6 yeah, d6 times d6. five. Exactly. So ten degrees, 10 degrees. starboard, which then it's ac it actually might be close enough. And I should have made it. Yeah. Let me make it. Our right or the missiles right? The starboard. The missiles. It's right. It's the missiles. Yeah, um, it's right. So it was going one ninety. It was going one ninety four. So now it's going. 184. No, sorry, 204. Four. And yeah. it was 594 was the knots, and it was 500 for low. Okay, so I don't think... Yeah, I wonder hit. if they go at 500. I will need to check what... Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to hit anybody, do you? What's its seeker cone? That's a good point, too. Let's see if we can get that. The weapon cell steers the revised course immediately, and then its seeker, and when its seeker is activated, so I guess we wouldn't know. We didn't set an activation point, did we? No, but it would be active because they fire at the exact targets. So... Don't don't you do it at half? Don't don't. I mean, isn't that why we use that reference point? Yeah, maybe. Isn't that the seeker point? All right. So if the acquisition seeker's oh, acquisition is. cone and the same tactical cone, use the seeker lock on chance and seven point four point seven. To see if it'll attack something in its cone. I gotta delete one of these too, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Uh, All right. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. What am I rolling? Uh, we need. To... We should roll to see if TN O three uh, five gets. Actually, no. Hang on. You need to manually move uh, the new missile you've put in because if we kind of move forward time now, it's it's not yeah. what it's meant to be. That's true. Wait. You need to move this, it along. This... Yeah. This was the point. Along its path. Hold on a second. So you're saying that this had to go the original direction first, and then it's deviating? 
no, no, get no, it. It, devi no, it deviates now, right? But the point is, you we've advanced, you've we've advanced yeah, yeah, time I, and then put the missile back where it was. Okay, well then we need a, a dead ago. reckon. We need a dead wrecking that. How I mean, how many? Shoot, that's gonna be like two. We've, we've use, done two. Use a waypoint so you can. You know, I mean, so it has the same. Yeah, exactly. We can't do that because we don't. We need to re reposition it. Um, do you need the distance? I'm just trying to figure out if it'll hit anything. That's all we got to figure out, right? I mean, honestly, what's the pretty much? What's the head of the secret cone? Like, what's the that's range? That's what I'm asking. I think it's yeah. Um, that that what I was looking for. What what was the it's the P1 paragraph 20. number? Uh, seven. Point four, point seven. Point seven. We're, this is a P120, right? That we're contending with? Yeah. Fine, mate. Uh, we didn't seek your phone. Okay, what yeah. What the hell? 45 degree against, arc. Yeah, uh, against, uh, against, what, what are, what are the ships? Very small or small? small. These are small. They're small. Well, nautical miles. What about jamming? And uh, oh, we, 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 yes. So I, I, at the very end, once the like, like if if the missile hits the target, so to speak, yeah, uh, then whether fires over the target, you roll to see whether the missile actually hits or we. We don't do that until oh, the missile oh, kind yeah, of flies oh. over, and that's where jammers oh, yeah. and decoys come yeah. in. What is the range of the seeker? Yeah. I'm sorry? 12. 12. Okay. 1, 2. That's and then we want lot. an arc of what, <laughs> what, what angle arc, how much of a cone would Star angle would be... That's a little different. I think it's relative. To each side? No, it'll be, it'll, it'll be, it'll be half of that. Uh, so, like, yeah, 20, right. 22.5 on either side. Oh, it's yeah. for... On, on what page is the secret cone? Parameters. Uh, page it is, hang on. I, I got it. Page got it. 77 or 7-3, left column top. 7 okay, 3, thanks. Yeah. Be uh, 30, 337.4, oh, sorry, 0.5, Peter. Uh, as uh, the start reference. Yeah, that's not right, is it? Um, the seek is pointing the wrong direction. Um, God, darn it. Are you kidding me? I think you modified the point, not the... Yeah, you're modifying the reference point, Peter, not okay, what, the missile what's itself. What's the start angle on that? Three, Div. three, seven point five. If this, if this is based on its heading. I don't think it's based on its no, heading. It's not. Two, three, two, three, it is because two, look, you're you're, 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 you're clicking on the through. reference point, not the missile. You got to delete the reference point and then click the missile to edit it. Yeah, so it does yeah, it. You want, yeah, you want the reference point. Yeah, you want. The oh, point. That, that makes. That's sense. why. Okay, I gotta get the darn. I gotta get that out of there. Now, do, now add the seeker. Uh, yep. Okay. Just hold on. Gotta get rid of that one and now add it to this one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, come on. And that was 17.5. No, that's uh, 12, is the maximum. And start angle would be 12.5, but yeah. Three three seven point five. Well, how can that be? That's the true bearing. This is true bearing. Yeah. Starts. That's based off the its heading. Yep. And then forty five. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, you're right. All right. Okay. So it very well could hit all of them. All of them. But uh, which one does it, it go to? Yeah. Now we do a you know we do a, a D one hundred roll, right? But we need to basically dead reckon this right because it's actually right here. Yes. But it's basically whatever it goes after is only going to hell at this point. It's going to be hit right because there, nobody would have reactions. Well, they, they're, 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 well, they're going to see if they actually have the like decoy or or, or, or think whether they have decoys or them. Or whatever. Um, the oh, guns, so, yeah. so the guns, the 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 guns don't actually need to roll reaction. The guns can always fire. Yes, the gu the guns always get one. All right. So but, how do we? Uh, so if we if we get to about here, how do we roll a defense? Which... 
Roll that, a d4. That, that's all of them, yeah. Roll a d4. And see. Actually, no, hang on, hang on. No, don't roll a d4. No, there's, no, there's a rule for this. Yeah, I thought so. Yes. Yes. There you uh, go. Okay, uh, random uh, seeking job. Okay, uh... Okay, hang on. Self so will always attack the secret lock on chance table, which is the chance of the secret choosing one target instead of your gun over the other. Okay, so what are the what are the ships uh like? They're all small. All, all small, small. Okay. so basically yeah, we yeah, could roll yeah, before yeah. in this yeah, yeah. situation so, yeah. we one can roll D4. D4. <laughs> yeah, you, you were right, you were right. Uh, okay, so I got uh, three, three. So that would be the one that's already getting hit, right? <laughs> one, two, oh. three, four. Oh, it's gonna, it's okay. gonna get hit by two. All right, so let, so it's gonna have how many? Here's the thing: they're coming at the same, roughly the same yeah, time, so, same speed. So they're right about here. So one. Then the I'm at to fire at each of them once. From guns. Wow, we already we already we we've already got did we've that. guns. No, no. So 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 the the Amatsukasa gets to fire three times. Right, but this fire, is... we fire. It's it's still not within the point blank range though. So the way it works is when you when you calculate it the sum table, you're calculating it from the point where the missile is, to the ship it's targeting, right? So what it's happening is the Amatsukase engages these missiles at point blank range from their target, and since those missiles were at the same distance, it's also it also gets two shots at short range. And one shot at point blank range. Against, so it, one, of it, yeah. against one of I, them. I get the point. I get the point. You against like. against yeah, one of them. It might though, be right. right. No, it gets, against both of them because it's got two fire control directors. Wow, it has enough. It has enough time and to do that because yeah. it's already taking. No, it's already, he, no. He, you, you know what? He's, uh, I get the point. Here's the thing. Uh, the thing is that all these missiles were. Oh, though this was different salvo, right? Well, they're okay, individual I, missiles. I'm not sure. Then I'm not sure if it's allowed, actually. Right. It, These it, are it, individual it should be. inbounds. It should be because it, it can you you can engage as many salvos as you like with your different directors. Yeah, but you've already, you've. It, yeah. This is the same time as when those missiles were coming no, like, right no, at oh, it. Yeah, no, no, because yeah, you, 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 you. So that. basically, the 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 Amatsukase gets to ta gets to fire three times, right? It's fired twice. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it can fire at one of these. We one of these yeah. can be fired. Uh, no, 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 because when it when it fires, it's got two directors. So every every fire phase, it can engage okay. two All right. missiles. All right. It's firing so once, it but it's engaging both twice, of them simultaneously. Right? Well, but we need to, wait. Thought, it's, it's not. I, I thought it, you had to different. decide. All right, everybody, hold on. Everybody, All right. hold on. All right. Who's speaking? I'll say this: yeah. You need to redo the calculation yes. because they're no longer converging; they're diverging. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, on the paint, it's, it's, okay. the, worst, yeah. it's the worst possible angle. So, but I'm not sure. Let's put that yeah, in here. I, then, I, so. I still not sure if it's legitimate here, but okay. I won't be speaking here. We, we need to we need to forward yeah. the situation to to the okay, outer. So the main them. thing is divergent. There's more than that. Or crossing. It's almost crossing. It's crossing. In yeah. my opinion. Uh -huh. it's Right, so then we're at um, three point. Oh, excuse me, we're at neg three point two point five. Two, okay, neg two point five. So he's only got a fifteen percent chance of hitting it. With, okay. Yep, each one gets a fifteen percent chance. All right, do you want me to just do it real quick? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Just two D one hundreds. Yep. So no. Nope. nope. Okay, so. That was that intercept, but don't these ships get point blank gun at least? Yeah, so, and yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, really do. only so, this one. Well, whatever, this one has this one has two missiles coming at it. Will it be able they, to? Both of them can fire um, the yeah. the guns. I'm assuming the, the, the can this is, guy the, fire the as well? Yeah, yeah. As long as the yeah. guns are within range, yeah. I think they would be right. So in other words, yeah. Um, yep. So. So that's basically so how four, far? four point blank. The the uh, what's what's the range for the guns? One mile, yeah. I think. That's what I'm looking at. So what is the what are those two ships? Hang on, zooming because I got there the Asagumo and the, the Asagumo Shirayuki. and the Shirayuki. Uh, what what class are these ships? Um, so the, the Asagumo, Asagumo and the Yamagumo. 
Tell me that again, please. A Yamagumo and a what else? Uh, a Yamagumo and the uh, uh, Hatsuyuki. Okay. The Yamagumo has a forward and aft uh, mark. That's the Hatsuyuki. Yeah, so we've got phalanx. Yeah. Oh, is, that, is, is that a phalanx? Yeah, it's got That's phalanx. A, yeah. yeah, phalanx. Yeah. It's pretty port good. Port and uh, starboard. Yeah, but but it's to port and starboard only. Wait, the, hang on. Is that the, Yaga, the Yamagumo or the other one? No, oh, that's the other one. The, the, the Yamagumo is on the other page. Next page. At the top. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm looking there at the Yamagumo. Go. He does not. Yeah. He has a Mark 33. Yeah. I mean, I can try using it, I guess. <laughs> Mm -hmm. it, it, yeah, but, but, but check, check the... Because the missiles are currently going from the bow of the ship, so... They would have turned, though. We would have. They would have turned. Ah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. We asked that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, but that's, it, can only, it, it can only fire one phalanx anyway. Okay, so we're phalanx doing... Can, but, but I believe phalanx gets two twice, shots yeah. because it's yes, out it of numbers. Yes, you're right. Yeah, phalanx right, gets so two shots. So we're back phalanx. to the flow, correct? Yeah, I, actually, no. I, I, I chat for guns yet. It's, it's, it's a different there. table, and I, I didn't make... Yeah. So the, so I, I'll do it. It's fine. The the phalanx doesn't actually. So the ship doesn't actually need to turn. The phalanxes in those ships are designed in such a way that one phalanx always has an angle, basically. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They overlap. Mm -hmm. so, so, so you never need to turn to always get one phalanx in, but you can only ever get one phalanx. Okay. Yep. Uh, all right. Let me. I'll I'll I'll, I'll get the I'll get the. What's the AA strength of the phalanx? It's five point zero. Got it here. So we the AA strength is five point zero, uh, and it gets two shots because it's an autonomous gun. What's the difference between air AA rating and AA strength? Okay, the so the AA strength is based on the weapon. Uh, the AA rating is modified from the AA strength, or it might be the, I can't remember, it's one of those two ways no, to run. Basically, basically the, the ship's fire the control a... system modifies it. Okay, so you go by the, no. you go by the bold number then. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Um, yeah, if you, if you look at the, if you look at the rating on the annex, it won't be 5.0, it'll be something else. Yeah, like two point two five. It's, 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 yeah. it's the bold one next to the mount. Use the bold one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. Use use the bold yeah, one because yeah. that, that takes in the ammunition and stuff. And then the A basically means it's autonomous, so it gets two shots instead of one. I can attempt yeah. to shoot down both missiles. So uh, the target is uh, it, it, it's low. It's transonic, so it's a modifier of zero. It's, yes. it's um is it? It's not doing terminal maneuvers, is it? I don't think they do. No, it's no. it's not. It's a non-maneuvering target, so that's plus two. It is small, so it's plus zero. Then it gets a seven, which is point seventy-one, so seventy-one percent chance, seventy-one percent chance of hitting. And then it rolled twice, right? Yeah. So yeah. No, one only one has a. Oh, right. Yeah, but it, it gets it, the same target, target yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, no, no. So autonomous, so no, guns, actually, uh, autonomous yeah. guns can engage one target and then a second one, or shoot twice at yes. the same one. Are you still yes. to pick that now, or it doesn't matter. There's two missiles, so the so the gun's yeah. gonna fire once. Right, what happens, do, and then fire again. That's gonna do. Yes, yeah, so so I'm saying like, you want you want to space them out, and I hit it. Yeah. So it shoots down one. It shoots down one. And then. It shoots yep, down the shoots other. Out of the other one. All right, so it's a very lucky. Balance right. working as not really. Point seven one chance. That's really high. Oh. That's not. Yeah. So both these of these Japanese ships good. have got some good close yep, defense. They, they do. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so all the missiles are gone. Here, here's the interesting thing, right? They managed to shoot mm -hmm. down four missiles, but a fifth missile would have been untargetable. Yes. In that very specific. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Laser yeah. Ed. Which, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. which mm -hmm. it's the saturation is that like very specific threshold where you go from I can legitimately kind of target everything to I cannot. Yeah. So the sort real thing. Head. So the one. So the one thing is like, would it have been better to target one ship with four missiles? Uh, I mean. 
If uh, what I mean, the one that hadn't that didn't have the the radar on, because if all of those missiles had gone to the uh... right, right, like like so, if you if you fired all of them on one of these, right? Yeah, possibly there would have been a better probability. Get the converging kill. penalty, yeah. so you might have missed with uh, some of the yep. SMRs. Well, let me save real quick. Hold on, let me make sure that I've done everything. We can continue this another weekend. Um, we can. Yeah. Well, because it's been three and a half hours. I'm not sure people have other things. Well, it's also yeah, probably like two I, I in the morning in Japan right now, right? Ken? Yeah. <laughs> I, I probably won't be won't be available next weekend. Um, we can do the weekend probably. after. We can take breaks. Yeah, that'll probably be better for me. No, you can, you can play without me. I can I can hmm. skip that. No problem for me. Yeah, and I got, I got I a might... large. I got a large creek spiel I'm doing next Saturday. <laughs> Gonna be an eight hour match. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, yes, yeah, so we'll come back in two weeks and continue. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Good game yeah, so yeah. far, though, fellas. Yeah, it's good. It's, yeah. Um, yeah. There was a couple yeah. different interesting things there, right? Like, so what were some of the questionable things? Like, so in other words, the that P120 salvo from the other ship being blocked yeah. here. We need to kind of maybe maybe just ask about that. But I think we ruled it appropriately. Um, what were some of the other ones that we were kind of? I, I'm not sure. I I, I asked already. I, I need to ask about two things. To Larry because I, I'm not sure with this sum if they can so easily engage this second salvo of missiles that was going next to them. But yeah, that, that's debatable in my opinion. All right. What I'm they gonna go ahead and, and I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video real quick. Can you send me this JSON and I'll fill in all the sensors and weapons between now and the next time, just so they're already on there? Yes. 